What is going on, Governors? Chiss School here. And today, we're back. Part two of evaluating the equipment update patch, light and darkness. And to do it all, we've got Negan back with us. Negan, hello and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Let us know how Negan's voice sounds, if he should be louder or quieter. We've got a slightly new setup going. New headphones. Pretty psyched about it. Let's see if this stream is stable. I'm hoping it will be. We have, Negan, so much to talk about. I, so, you know, the last stream had some issues. Even with the playback, it looks like there's some issues. So we thought we'd take like a 30-minute break and then come back and hopefully like the internet sorts itself out. I think it will have. Um, and... There's two things we need to talk about. First of all, the geared up patch. We're going to spin William. But then second of all, third of all, fourth of all, fifth of all. Oh my God, Negan, this patch. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to be learning about this with your viewers because I have not read the patch yet. I woke up and I saw your post and I was like, eh, I'm too lazy to go read it. I'm just going to watch your video, right? And then I couldn't watch your video, so... Yeah, I have no idea what's going on, and well, I guess we'll figure it out together. We will figure it out. It's so exciting, Negan. Now, chat, you tell me, how's Negan's volume? Good? I think it's good. On my monitoring, he sounds uh, very good. Negan, you sound crisp, my friend. Ne See, people are saying make you louder. Maybe I'll make you louder. Good so far? Excellent. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. I made you a smidge louder. We'll see how that goes. Negan, new patch is coming. Your voice is so deep. Is the feedback, Negan? You have a very deep voice. So, Sorry. this patch is coming. No, that's not a bad thing. Um, Between the 10th and also the 20th. I don't know. What do you mean the 10th and the 20th? What does that mean? Of this month. As in it's like... So Oh, oh, I see. It's it's like they didn't put a specific date. Why wouldn't they put a specific date? They don't know yet. They're just like, it's coming. And it, Negan, all of this is right before our Kingsland. Right. So shit's going to completely flip around right before Kingsland, first and foremost. OK, mm -hmm. so based on feedback on the system, they, people said it's too complicated. The bonuses suck. The materials are hard to get. They are reducing the number of equipment types. Or, or sorry, the material types down to four. So instead of like the eight plus material types we have today, it's going to go down to four. That how's that going to work? They're going to give you back every piece of materials you have as a material choice chest. Okay. So you're going to get everything back as material choice chest. Well, I tell you what. So we're we're just. I'm assuming you have. The, I'm not watching your video right now. You yep. have the email up. Are we I've just got on it up? Under reading. What's what I'm reading? Okay. We're cruising through it together. Right. We're cruising through it together. That's interesting because it'll let you rebalance potentially. So that's it's upside. Handy. If you're trying to if you're trying to make something, you know. No, but what I'm trying to understand is if there's only like. How is that going to work, though? So, like, the coin, for example, is a legendary. Meanwhile, like, the gloves or the whatever you call it, the basic. I mean, what does that mean? That the they're, they're only going to go to the purple and not the gold? And so then the coin will be just, you know, 80 instead of 20? Like, how does that work? Right? Oh, well, I mean, we'll see. That's an interesting point I hadn't saying? even thought of. So what they're saying is that I think the qualities are still going to be the same, Negan. The quality is going to be the same. It's just the different types of materials, like oh, cloth and, of materials. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I thought you were saying like the levels of the materials. Mm, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Four types of materials. Well, that makes a bit more sense. I think it'll be easier for sure. Yeah. Right. So, this... and I, you know, and I do like the way that they're doing that because, you know, maybe you've already kind <laughs> of there's. I know, like, when I've talked to Abe, he's like, oh, man, I opened, like, 100 feathers by mistake. And, you know, and then you can't do anything about that, right? Um, yep, except know, this fixes wanting... it. Right. It, it kind of gives you a, a reset point, you know, for for your materials, which is kind of nice. 
if it nothing nice. else. Now get this. Improved the attributes of some equipment to rebalance the system. Right, which without knowing what that means, you know, that could be that could be a nerf or it could be a buff. Well, I mean, I mean you know. let's go look at some equipment real quick because I realized I kind of like glossed over this at the first time I read this. Um, but when we're talking about rebalancing equipment, I almost guarantee you they're going to change Milky Way, which gives commander experience. Basically anything that gives commander experience at the legendary tier don't you think they're going to change that i don't think that's what that means i don't what? Know. i mean i would like to think that the word improved uh means that it's a buff and not a nerf but you know like you of all people have been harping for so long of how the vanguard set is broken and so like when they're saying mm. rebalance the system that's the way I read it. Uh -oh. Is to say, oh, we made this Vanguard set way too good for the advanced level, and we're going to fix that to make it crappier. Vanguard now, nerf incoming. Me. You heard it huh? here first. I mean, I'm just saying, like, that's the pessimist in me, you know, because when they say rebalance, rebalance doesn't just mean make better. Rebalance can mean a nerf as well. Now, I'm hoping the word improved means making better and not nerfing but their grasp of the english language is not always that great so improved is not necessarily a guarantee that things are going up yeah I but think, i mean it could I certainly right. mean that you know that they're gonna do a better shield on the coin I mean, we could go through any number of things a better shield on the coin or you know raising the delays back to 10 percent, right because it was 10 percent before yeah i think there's a lot I of mean, things we should talk about i mean and we can breeze through some of these but I want to focus on the legendaries because those are the highest impact. I think Milky Way gives cavalry health, archer health, and commander experience. I know you're saying like, ah, eh, they're probably not going to change that, but I think they're going to get rid of the experience on that. I mean, maybe, but what? And then replace it with more stats on the other two? Yep. 8% base cavalry health, 8% base archer health. It's possible. That's my guess. I, I mean, think they're going to... Would just be a really, really high stat. It'd but it is really a legendary good. piece of equipment. So it, I mean, it's it's not cheap. By I mean, that's that's more than a. No, it's not. Uh, that's not. That's the coin's one hundred and twenty, and that's uh. Maybe eight percent is too much. Maybe maybe it would just be seven percent and seven percent. That's still mean, be that, better. The Milky Way is literally half as expensive as a coin. So I mean, when you think when you know, uh, to me, like when you when you're talking about rebalancing, it's like okay. 8% well that's not even 8% of stats because if you put it on a on a leadership commander you know like a new YSS or somebody you're really talking about what 16% of stats yeah it's too much compared to it's too much compared to a 500 uh hit point shield for double the cost I don't think so like that's where I'm wondering if they you know if they're talking about just raising things to balance it if anything I would think the Milky Way would stay the same and maybe the coin would go up. I think you're um, right. Negan, what if, I'm just throwing this out there. What if they make the coin worth the cost? I mean, if they raised it to like a thousand, I think that would be interesting. Because if you look at some of the other, you know, really good commanders that deploy a shield, they do a thousand, don't they? I mean, they do. like, they like do. Charlemagne, I think is a thousand, right? Freddy does a 1,000 heal on a cooldown. Internal No, cool I'm down. talking about a shield. I'm talking yeah. about a shield. Yeah, I know. It, I guess that's apples for apples. Yeah, yeah. Right, because I'm saying Charlemagne's a 10% for 1,000, which is the same as a coin. I mean, like, that would make a lot of sense. You know, I realize most people don't have Charlemagne. Doesn't uh, Leo or one of the other new ones also do a shield? Somebody. It is. my. Uh, so I'm going to state a belief. I believe... Okay. The commander experience is going to disappear from legendaries, and in it, and even from epics. Maybe damage to barbarians will stay, but I hope not. I mean, yeah. like, don't you think damage for barbarians is like, I don't know, at least with the challenges we have in the game today, like makes a ton of sense on green gear, makes a ton of sense on blue gear, but like epic gear, I don't know about that, right? Well, no, but I mean, by that same logic, then why do you have? what is it epic epic stuff that's gathering i mean come on i mean who's going to spend the materials on a on a claw of the forest guardian uh I funny mean, funny makes... story 
There's a member of my channel. Go go look Negan at the accessories. In game. Because there's something right. not there anymore. And you uh, probably uh, wouldn't have even noticed that this thing disappeared. The E. No, I don't notice anything disappeared. There was a sickle. I have an image of it. Which... Oh, what was it? Peter's sickle? Yeah. 10% gathering speed, and it's gone. Hmm. And someone from who's a member of my channel was like, dude, this thing disappeared. And they disappeared from my inventory, too. And he's like kind of going back and forth with support to sort it out. Where did you even get that from, though? I don't remember where this came from. Does hmm. anyone in chat remember where the heck this came from? I do not. So he's saying this. he doesn't even have blueprints for it anymore. It's it's gone. Look, it's gone. It's not here. No, do, I'm I'm, I'm do, looking at blueprints. Yeah. yeah. Do we have blueprints? I, I I have a Peter sickle. I have twenty fragments. You do have twenty fragments still. Yeah. Weird. Origin. Uh, wait. Origin. If I click origin, it does nothing. If I click origin on something else, it's there. If I click origin, like on my pendant it says barbarian keep if i click origin on peter sickle it says nothing. yeah i have five yeah i have 20. i hit combine mm. and then i can hit origin weird super weird i don't know what's going on there hmm. it gets better though my friend unless you're gonna tell me that uh there's something in this patch that says that there's no more coin for kvk5 it doesn't get that much better but well, i'm, I'm oh, still oh, well, but what if good. they balance the coin i bet you they're gonna balance the coin and it's i know but it's still unless they're gonna lower the cost it's still i mean well, okay let me ask you this here's a good question and and this is not a question for a probably the majority of your your viewers but i'm gonna ask you let's say they made it a thousand okay are you going to make a second coin? No. Or a third coin? No. Or a fourth coin? No. And here's why. Are you ready for why? Okay. I'm, I'm ready. The third bullet, the next one in the list, added a lot of new equipment. Right. You have more choices now. Depending on where you get it from. I'm not Depending making another coin because I got other shit to do. Holy right. moly. We got a lot yeah. of stuff to make, man. A lot? Is that 10 patterns? 20 patterns? Right. Well, it depends on where it comes from, too, and how long it's going to take to get it. Funny yeah. that you mentioned where is it going to come from. I'll tell you, they are changing. This is, dude, you, you, you must be purposefully giving me softballs. Because the next thing in the list is they adjusted the equipment blueprint drops in Soroli Crisis, <laughs> Ian's Ballads, Shadow Legion, Sunset Canyon, Golden Kingdom, and more. So I think the events, which, by the way, Golden Kingdom is going to give stuff, which it didn't before. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I'm going to echo something that I saw um, a pretty heavy upvote for on the ROK Discord, which is where the heck is Ian's Ballads at? I mean, they were running Ian's Ballads almost weekly along with Soroli. They've done like two Ian's updates in recent patches like this and yet we haven't seen an ian and I, I care because we're about to go into well, i mean we're already in kvk but we're about to go into fighting of kvk and there's people that are still only half done with their equipment that you could only get in ian's and there's other people that already have it made so i don't understand why they have not brought ian's back yet it's it's doesn't make any sense to me i agree I agree. I think it's because they're rebalancing the whole thing. Right, but they've done two patches and not brought it back. Like, mm -hmm. what are they waiting for? Right? I mean... There must be some that's... big changes coming. Negan, I think you're onto something there. I think there's probably going to be some big changes or even a new game mode. Right? Like, the, a different map instead of the... Is it Takeda? or No, it's Takra Forest. Mm -hmm. I bet you there's going to be something new. Now, here's something exciting. They are reducing the material cost for most epic and elite equipment. If you have any such equipment, they are refunding any consumed materials after the update. Wait, hold on. For most elite? So blue and purples. That's they're, interesting. Yeah, they're saying like blues and purples too expensive. Here you go. Get some materials back. Mm -hmm. I think that's exciting. 
I think that's very exciting. <clears throat> um, it's possible that... Well, I, I don't know which materials they would change. Or, or rather, which equipment they would change. Like, if I had to guess... Well, but it's, it's saying most, so I would expect most, right? I mean, to be... No, reduced. that's that's fair. That's fair. Well, and 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 the timing for that goes along with, I guess, what bullet point number one, right? So the idea is, you know, let's say that the what's a blue piece of equipment, the the greaves, the vanguard greaves, or no, whatever they're called, the the ones that like everybody has on their infantry. What is it called? Not vanguard. Is it the vanguard? Uh, I'll what get the I name for of? you. The, or the Greaves of the Exile. Greaves of the Exile. You know, like, everyone's yeah. probably got, like, three sets of those, right? And, you know, the material cost is 70. Let's say that they reduced it to... 60? 50 or 60. L l let's say just 60. That's 10 materials. And then that combined with number one means that they could just give you a pick one, 10 pick one blue chests, for That's example, right. at that same time. Um, so it all kind of, it, it does kind of make logical sense at that point, rather than, you know, giving you back, um, you know, some undeterminate amount of silk feather or bone, you know, they just give you 10 blue pick ones that fall into the new, you know, material system. Yeah, it's so perfect. It, right. I mean, the timing, I think, makes sense for yeah, that. Yeah, it's very good. Um, so... Negan, to your point earlier of where is this new equipment going to come from, they added a new type of equipment chest oh, in right. the tavern. Find their keys in events. A lot to unpack uh -oh. there. I think that the... Can, I, the, can you know, I just say what I think probably every single person watching this is already thinking? You already know what it is, don't you? Uh, pay to win? No. Uh, so we have silver keys that are worthless and gold keys that are worthless. And instead of just adding equipment to those, so that way they're less worthless. Ah, uh, yes. They're, okay. They're, they're, it's it's like the ethyl sculptures or the or the Kira sculptures. It's like great. We got tons of silver heads we can't use. We've got ethyl sculptures we can't use. Now we have keys we can't do anything with. And instead of just making those more valuable. And just adding some equipment to those, you know, because you can easily do that. You could add materials, you know, some small materials to a, a silver key and do fragment drops in a gold key. And that way, hey, now all of a sudden for someone like you who puts virtually zero value in a gold key to the point where you're hoarding thousands of keys because you have no incentive to open them. Instead of putting some value back into those, they're creating now a third type of chest that you have to collect. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, so. um, I think the reason they can't do it is because actually also there are a lot of people who save them. So they don't want people to like, <laughs> can you imagine if they put the patterns in silver keys? I got no, 12,000 silver keys. I'm saying, like I would put materials, you know, small material chests like those random, I don't know what you call them, the, the random ones, you yeah. know, like you get yeah. in the uh, in Sunset. Yep. I would put those types of small random chests in a silver key and then I would put fragments, blueprint fragments, in gold keys. Like, that is incredibly logical to me, but yeah. what do I know? About I, I, like, I like where you're at with that. Instead, um, they are adding a new super value bundle geared up and removing the hammer and anvil. How much do you want to bet that you can get some of these new keys and geared up? Right. No, that would make sense. Yeah. yeah. All but guaranteed. They are doing something interesting here, though. Added equipment material chests and equipment blueprint chests to the VIP shop. So now this is interesting because you know how from Shadow Legion you get the equipment chests and it's like, you know, it's a random type of equipment. It sounds like that's what they're adding. Like, they didn't say material choice chest, and they didn't say, like, specific blueprints. It is a, right. an equipment blueprint chest. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's a question of whether or not you can actually choose to spend your money on certain equipment, like you would in, like, a canyon shop, or 
if it's like you said, it's it's a a chest just like you have on the dice game or Shadow Legion, where it just gives you some random drop of any number of blueprints. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little concerned that there may be like VIP only patterns, and there might be a VIP only legendary pattern. Oh god. Well, but that already exists. You realize that, right? A VIP only legendary pattern? Of course. What pattern is that? Uh the Trial of the Lost Kingdom. Oh. Yeah, that thing's fine. I mean, that's literally a pay I'm just saying it's a it's something you can only get by paying for it. Versus at least if uh um it's something that's in vip i mean there's free to play that have vip levels that you know would be able to access that you know if they want to spend their gems for it versus like trial of lost kingdom is literally something you can only get kind of like a minna minna is something you can only get by paying for it well here's I mean, my fear you know how low the drop rate is for what are they called the archer gloves from shadow legion chests the ian's oh, choice right. yeah this is my fear is that there's going to be like we're going to have to buy hundreds. I mean, we'll see. But I, I'm afraid we're going to have to buy hundreds of these chests from the VIP shop to try to get, like, a legendary from that shop. My suspicion. Right. Yeah. My suspicion. Um, I mean, if, if, there's, if there's one thing they've been consistent about, it's that drop rates are things that you actually want. Fairly low, so. Yeah, the drop rates are pretty low. Now, there's other stuff in here, in these patch notes, that are interesting. But... You know, we kind of talked about those already in the previous stream that we did. I'm pretty I mean, I hyped. think that it would be worth finishing this, just because, like I said, I'm I'm one of those people that was not able to even make it through five minutes of your other stream. So okay, that's if fair. There's things worth talking about. I don't think it would hurt to. That's fair. So a so, couple I mean, other we things. We can finish talking about equipment first. I'm just, yeah. Uh, well, I know. think I think that's a a pretty good wrap on equipment. I mean, like the balance of equipment is going to change. I would be very surprised if Lucky Coin doesn't get better or if relative to other things it ends up being better. Because, like, I realized, Negan, just yesterday, after I had live-streamed, that, like, you know, I was pretty disappointed to give a Lucky Coin for the third time. And to your point, it's unlikely I would make multiple. But one way that they make it less sucky to have gotten three of them is if they were actually like very remarkable well but <clears throat> the point is if they were very remarkable i think that for your average player that would incentivize them to make one yes because even one is challenging yes. yeah the question then becomes okay for an average player maybe that incentivizes them to make one but we're gonna have people if we do well in this kvk who could have four, four to five, Yeah, if not at least four to five, if we do even average on this KVK. Yeah. And it's like, what could we possibly do with four to five coins? And and this is not something, as much as I'd love to say, oh, it's because K75 is so amazing that we're going to have four. No, a lot of kingdoms, strong kingdoms, good kingdoms are going to have three to four or five coins. And like, Who's making those? I I can't even. I mean, like, there is a world where I could see making a second one because, <clears throat> much like I'd like to make a second Shios, uh, I you know, to have one on my garrison mm -hmm. and one on my rally leader, so I could be doing both simultaneously. Same thing with a coin. Same thing with a silent trial. Like, there's advantages to having duplicates of some of these things, and there are times where I've kicked around the idea of making a second coin. Um, I'm kind of like you where I've been just hoarding materials yep. waiting to see if there was something new to drop um, but anything more than two coins is just completely superfluous in my opinion like I it just even with a impressive buff to a, a, a thousand damage factor I can't fathom making more than two and so the idea that they keep giving and I'm not trying to beat a dead horse but the idea that they keep giving this away as a KVK reward I mean the only even somewhat sensible reason that they're doing it is that they're further trying to 
bring more kingdoms into the uh, the KVK cycle that we're in. That was their logic last time. Was and, and you know when they gave us that feedback and they said, "Oh well, you know these thirteen hundred kingdoms, they didn't have it yet." Fine. You know if they would at least come back and say something like, "Hey, we're trying to get up to." 1500 to be in your cycle and they haven't had a coin yet so we want to you know keep you on the coin until they're caught up and then we'll change it i mean but like give us a reason why like not yeah. just the same crap over and over again and and say oh what we think you would like this like it just it doesn't make any sense so <clears throat> to your point just i i think it's unlikely that this is going to be the case because they didn't say the material cost was changing for any of well they did for elite and epic but not for legendary right but what mm -hmm. you're saying is to make you know more lucky coins compelling as a reward is they would both need to reduce the cost to craft it and improve the effect slightly uh, you know like you said i do not see anything here that says the cost of craft is going down the only thing indirectly indirectly that reduces the cost to craft it is the fact that they're going to refund all of your materials and so for example yep. you know i've got um whatever I, I don't know what i have i got you know 555 ebony's whatever if i could take that and use that towards making the coin which i'm not even paying attention to what the coin costs so maybe it takes ebony but i'm just using that as an example it's the equivalent sort of in my head of reducing the cost of a coin. Cause now I'm taking the material that I wasn't going to do anything with, or, you know, wasn't going to do anything relevant to the coin with, and now I can use it towards the coin. So that sort of indirectly makes it cheaper to make a coin. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, it makes it that... easier to make the coin, even right. though the cost is unchanged. A couple of quick things. Um, this is my and Okishira. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Daniel Newland, thank you for the $2 super chat. Legendary remake, get special talent, no penalty. I, so I don't think that's actually, okay, Negan. So there's another well, no, idea. So what he's saying is yeah. to remove the 50% clawback that they yeah. do when you dismantle. That would be really nice. Uh, that, would, that would then make having multiples of the coin more worthwhile because if I could break, you know, if I've got four coin patterns just sitting here, if I could break my coin and remake it and try to get us, you know, a, a, a cab or an infantry, probably I would probably go infantry, I would think. But um then yeah, that would make that would make things really nice. Um that would be an easy fix, actually. That would actually be a, a way to make the coin more worthwhile, I guess. Yeah. That's that, that's the that's a that's a really good idea that I had not thought of. I don't think that they would do it. No, they didn't say uh, they were um, doing it. Unfortunately, no, I know. I know they didn't say that. I know they didn't say they would do it, but I don't. I'm. I'm trying to think of, like, what other equipment. It's just so hard to even get legendary blueprints. Mm -hmm. You know, of anything. Like, what do they have to lose by making that change? You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. like a Shios, for example. You know, you could get one Shios per kvk basically so what would it hurt to allow someone to break it and remake it and try to get a specialty right i mean technically you can like, get it's two. not like you have 10 of them you know huh? yeah technically you what? can get two. Uh oh um, what if you don't buy no you can't oh no you're right no no no. it limits the number available yeah you can only get oh, one well, no I, I, no but even you can get enough currency for both no no I, oh you do okay yeah. i was gonna say i, I think maybe in kvk three there was more than 30 fragments available maybe there weren't i don't remember but but um e either way they limit like you said that the, the number that they give you limits it to one you've got to but be I'm an extremely through... high performer though well no but i'm just going through and looking at what is legendary that's what i'm doing okay so in equipment in, in weapons it's only the try of the lost kingdom which you can't even break in helms there is no legendary chess piece it's just the milky way and the shadow legions shadow legions i still don't even have one blueprint of yep. milky way i only have one blueprint of you're probably the same yep gloves oh my god who has an ian's choice i think one person i know of 
yep. who has the sacred grips one person that i know of which is you yep um ash of the dawn i have three fragments that's it <laughs> uh eternal night i have oh eternal nights from yeah canyon right so maybe you have one or two yep uh and then shios and then the coin oh and then pendant which pendant, I guess you could maybe... Pendant's is good. The easiest thing that you could have multiple of would be the pendant. So my point my point in even talking this through is why not, you know, lobby them to allow you to break this without the penalty so that way the coin becomes more valuable. Because right. it's not like, you know, like uh, what I was talking about before, the Greaves of the Exile, for example. I have eight of those i mean breaking it and remaking it super easy right i'm sure everyone else is the same versus like a coin or the other things that are legendary the the blueprints themselves becomes the limiting factor i think that they were trying to make the 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 equipment being clawed back be the limiting factor but in reality the number of blueprints is already the limiting factor that's so right why not you know why not remove that penalty so to speak that's not a bad idea that maybe we could try to lobby them for we could certainly mm -hmm. try i don't know how that how well that's gonna go but we could bring it up it's an interesting idea especially if they're um you know really sticking to their guns on the coin really being the the value for or the you know the the reward for kvk5 that mm -hmm. would be an interesting way i think to make a lot of people happy because yep. Yep. you know i would immediately break mine and try to get i don't know what special, special talent, talent. But i'd you... have to really think <laughs> then that because you know what special talent do you go with which is a whole other conversation yeah i mean i'm still grasping at hope that they're gonna change it because like a lot of other people i'm confused on um the city skin doesn't make sense you know, because I thought that in the, uh, in, in wherever it shows where you get the city skins from, there's one that says KVK5. It doesn't say KVK5 yet... anymore, by the way. Oh, it doesn't? No. Uh... The Top Copy Palace. It says, limited edition, uh, Lost Kingdom theme, only awarded for individual rankings during the Lost Kingdom Season of Conquest. But it doesn't say Season 5 anymore. Well, no, but <sighs> is there not something that, I thought that they named each season of KVK somewhere. I thought they did too, and I think they removed that. In this description is where, oh, wait, look at that. Divine Abode still says Lost Kingdom Season 3, but that was not Season of Conquest. That was KVK no, Season 3. What I'm saying is I thought there was somewhere that they, they named these KVKs, but I... You know, like like this, just kind of like they they named kingdoms or Lugal. You know, there's each season of KVK had a name. Hmm. I thought maybe I'm wrong, and I'm trying to see if there's somewhere that I don't remember that. that they, um, yeah, the not. only place I can think it will be in the Lost Temple, and we can look at the history. By the way, yeah, we we we'd have to go back to the Home Kingdom for that, but yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm there now, and let's see. Oh no, no, I mean like. In order to view the history, you have to physically be in the home kingdom. No, I'm, I'm a, I can see it. Really? Yeah. Um, but it doesn't. It says we occupied or had our. We we either annexed a kingdom or we were occupied by a kingdom, but it doesn't say what season it was. Hmm. It just has a date, right? It just has a date, a date, yeah. and even a time. Hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, I think that where it would name the season was like back when, um, you know, like the 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 coming soon screen, you know, before even the matchmaking. I want to say. Oh, interesting. I mean, if you look at the city skins, and there's a question mark just to the left of the name, it's actually almost impossible to see these days. Mm -hmm. But um, next to the divine abode, and probably. Yeah, Persian Dream, it does it. And also the Twilight what Falls. Is the one, what is the one they're giving away? What does it say? The it says Season 1, 2, 3. Flight of the Heron just says Season of Conquest. 
Hmm. Oh, so it says the same thing as the Topaki, whatever. It does. Ah. Okay. Right, like awarded for individual rankings during the Lost Kingdom season of Conquest and the Topkapi Palace. Same idea. Exact same words. Okay. Yeah. So I, I think the equipment update is very exciting. I think rebalancing is likely. I think removing the restrictions around legendaries is probably not going to happen with forging and destroying. I think we're both very hopeful that they make... I mean, there's a real opportunity here to at least make the lucky coin more compelling, even if you're only going to craft one. And also, I don't know. They just didn't mention no, I mean, making resetting it more and giving you material chests would theoretically make making a coin easier because then whatever you've already sunk your your materials into, you can, you know, shift it and and get it back. I I really think that we need to. I don't know who made the suggestion on your channel, but it was a really, really good suggestion that I had never thought of. Obviously, you had never thought of. And I think that going through and looking at the material, the, the equipment, I think we can make a logical argument. And I, I, I'd i really like to try to see if we could do something with that. So I agree. For the, for the idea of removing the 50%. Yeah, I agree. And, and we, you know, you're basically proposing that we make a suggestion in the official Rise of Kingdoms Discord. That people upvote? Either that or whatever other channels are available. Noted. Noted. Uh, yeah. Of Copy Palace is in my country, Istanbul. Oh, that's cool. So I'm pretty hyped about that patch. But you know what was a little terrifying this morning, Negan? You might not even have seen it. Have you looked, and I always tap the wrong thing, have you looked at our Light versus Darkness this morning? Oh, I saw, like, 30 tags on uh -huh. what happened. Yeah. It's a lot closer now, suddenly. Yeah. So apparently what they... I, someone said that we went into this with extra points than we should have somehow from last season that they were giving us, but I don't remember starting off ahead per se so i don't know what they're talking about i think we did we started off ahead by a lot i think and i don't know who was in lost kingdom 3 previously but the mm -hmm. theory i've heard is that we started with the number of points that the owners of the previous lost kingdom 3 had for the camps which is a little oh. awkward well but but it was so low. Are you saying that the... the it was not lock... low. Huh? The, the scores before, if I remember correctly, we, like, showed up, and it was, like, 2 billion to 3 billion, wasn't it? I mean, they were... Was it? Yeah. And, and right now, we've got, you know, less than 3 billion. Hmm. Yeah, we showed up with a boatload of points. And I thought it was just people return their gatherers, you know? But right. That, that doesn't I, make any I'm sense. Saying, I don't remember what we... Our, I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I don't remember what we started with, so I, I really I can't answer that. I have you know? video. It was, it was billions. And, and I thought, <laughs> I just didn't think about it, actually, at the time. But when you just look at the individual rankings, like even our highest ranking people, you know, 6 million is what they have now. There's no way we would have rolled in with billions of points. No, I just didn't. I didn't notice the billions, I guess. Yeah, neither so. did I. Neither did Are I. you sure it was billions and not millions? It might have been millions. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, We'd I, have to go I, back and I, look. I yeah, but, but no matter how you slice it, man, that's close. It is. We got yeah. a 380 million? No, sorry, 280 million point. Lead. I mean, it could be that we were so far ahead that we took our foot off the gas, you know? It oh, yeah. Probably more likely, oh, you yeah. know? And now, now we got to widen that lead again in a perfect world. You know, but I just, it's one of those things that frustrates me is when they just push a patch like that and they don't tell you what they're doing. You know, like, why don't you just send us a note and say, hey, you know, we were accidentally including this and we fixed it. Like, don't just do a quick 15 minute patch and not tell us what you're doing where, you know, I, I remember last night when I was up, when the patch hit, I didn't even know the patch was coming or whatever, you know, a little, a little up system update. I was still yep. awake. And when it came, when it came back up, I'm like, ah, oh, they replaced the coin. 
And then, of course, they didn't replace coin. And then I'm, like, looking around trying to figure out what they did, and I couldn't figure it out. And then, obviously, someone figured it out. You know, but, it, like, why is it up to us to figure it out? Like, why aren't they telling us? I you know? would agree yeah. that it would be, like, we're going to figure it out eventually. So, like, you may as well just come forward with it rather right. than make us do some And it's not anything that I, don't, I think anyone would be upset about. I mean, I think if they, if they just said, hey, you know, we accidentally were you know started you with last season's points and we fixed that okay great i don't think anyone would be upset about that one bit but at least just tell us what you're doing yeah you know i agree anyway. i agree that would be nice now how do you think that the honor is evolving so far right now our alliance is in sixth for honor and our kingdom is in second i don't know if you yeah i mean we usually time. start a little bit behind and then we play catch up. I mean, this is pretty pretty standard. Yeah, I, I agree. I think there's two things happening. Well, at least one, maybe, maybe two. But one of the things that is typical for our kingdom is that we frequently do not go ham on barbarians. In until, this zone. Yeah, this zone. We're like, why bother? Yeah. Right. Um, and you can see, like, holy moly, there are some folks in uh, Kingdom 46, Kingdom 1352 that are just, I mean, they got the top five of the board for individual honor. And mm -hmm. not by a little. I mean, they got like 85,000 honor, which is a lot of honor. Holy jeez. And that reward? Yeah, it's still Flight of the Heron. It's still Flight of the Heron. So that was sort of a freaky thing this morning, Negan, waking up to that. Right. I was like, oh god, why is everybody freaking out? What's happening? Um, folks are wondering who I'm talking to. For those of you just joining, this is Negan on the line. Negan and I have been trading off king. For a long time, Negan was just straight up kinging for 75. So awesome. It is exhausting. King is awful. <laughs> it's so much work. Uh, there's no upside to being king in terms of your play experience. You have to just really want to do it. Um, unless you think you make the kingdom better than anyone else who would do that role. You know what I mean? Right. That's, that's the kind of, but that's, you know, there's other people that can do the job. Now, have you done your William wheel yet? I did. How, do you know about how many sculptures you got? Uh, the first one I got... 23 before the chests um and then yesterday or today or whatever i i only spun to 100 okay that's, uh, that's a valid or, or way or to I, do spun, it. I, I spun to 98 because i'm gonna do the the half off for 400 tomorrow and then just do a spin one to get to 100 it just it seems like a better value that way i don't know um and i got i don't know how many you get in the chest hold on i got um while you're figuring that out cortex 17 is... with chests so i don't know what that is oh. doesn't sound very wow. great yeah, but that's not a full good. spin that's only that's only 36 spins okay 30, not 30 as bad spins. um so cortex is saying there's a civil war in lost kingdom one dude tell i gotta see that where the heck is that happening? Lost you Kingdom 1, leg. isn't that like the, the big kingdoms? Like, isn't that like Death Squad and the others? Uh, I don't know. It's the Alliance Fortress he posted. Let's see. Is for Kingdom 101. I, I don't know 101 offhand. Is the one where they're... They got some coordinates. Right. I'm I'm just looking fortress. to see who else is in this KVK. Oh my gosh. So I, I don't know. L N C B is their ally. I know N C B. Do they got a Richard the First? What is this? This is Death Squad's KVK. This is Death Squad's KVK. It's not that's what? not his allies. It's the enemy. Their Death Squad is uh lunar camp lunar over here oh my uh, god and then it's whoever is in the solar up there which is where you're probably looking uh is the 
Oh, it's 93 is on the other side, is is one of their allies. None of 93's allies is just, wow, in Civil yeah, War? Yeah, because if you, if you look at the bottom of the map on the other side of the solar, it's 90, 93 is down there. Oh, my God. 1331, 93, 1101, and 1012. How did you see that so fast? Uh, I read the chat, baby. Chat's yeah, got my okay. back. I gotcha. I'm, I'm over here doing it the manual way, like an idiot. Okay. Bizrook posted the reason why. Poro Poro X, or sorry, Pororo X, is that something I can read out loud? I don't see where it's posted. In Alliance chat? Maybe it's in, it. is, this a, is he not send it to the Alliance? Uh, I'm what... just I'm scrolling for you just to see if thank I you, see thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Uh, Civil War in KVK that is strange, strange, strange. Wait a minute. How I don't I don't see anything. I scrolled up quite a bit. I don't see anything uh, about what's going on. So. So weird. It's about how they rigged the Mightiest Governor. Mm. Oh my gosh. They would rather fight over Mightiest Governor than try to win a KVK for another coin. Which is going to be really a bummer when the coin gets buffed like crazy. And or if they change some of the things we were talking about. And it's like suddenly coin is the jam. Cities burning? Oh my god. Well, but hold on a second. Kingdom ninety three has got to be losing their mind, though. I would be. I I would be losing my mind at my allies. But mightiest governor isn't even Ke Day yet. So, like, what is what's the point of fighting if if it's about mightiest governor? You know what I'm saying? Like, they just disagree. I guess. Okay. But like, they defended with a Richard the first, like. How in the world is the, is this the reigning, oh, this is not, okay, hold on. This is a Crusader camp. I thought, I thought for a second I was looking at the Crusader Fortress. Okay, so the alliance that has the Crusader Fortress is burning out one of the alliances that they gave a Crusader camp to. Is that what's happening? Yep. I see. And I see oh, the slave is distributed. Oh my god. So the Alpha Alliance is just like rallying out this other one. They defending with Theo all day? Crazy. Chandra is too powerful. Chandra is better than the coin. Coin shield doubled? I mean, that would be amazing if they did that. Johnson, that would be amazing. Wow. All right, we'll keep our eye on this. That's crazy. That's completely I'm, insane. I'm guessing. I, I, oh, what the heck? Okay, sorry. The the uh for whatever reason, like until I zoomed in, it wasn't showing me all of the territory. Okay, now I got it. I'm good. I'm all caught up. You know what I bet you happened? I bet you someone from this alliance didn't agree with a rigged mightiest governor and was like, "F you, I'm just gonna." overtrain and win this mightiest governor or kill lots of barbs or whatever they did right mm -hmm. i got a discord pm yep i called it i called it of course i have the kingdom mail from the kingdom attention player and i won't say their name significantly exceeded the limit during the training stage of the mightiest governor because of the information distortion done by the leadership of the FW Alliance. Wow. Oh, Negan, so much drama. This player must stop scoring points in order for the other players in the list, 10 to 14 spots, to overtake their score. Also, due to the loss of trust of the FW leadership and complete inability to conduct a dialogue, Alliance's ONC, ADOK, and 3NC decided to apply the following measures. Dude, Negan, this is amazing. One, FW Alliance leaders has to delete their fortress and flags in the KVK map until the 17th of, wait, until 17 UTC August 5th. 
after the expiration of this time, assistance can be provided. <laughs> so this is the assistance being provided for uh, deleting their, their territory. Valentin, Son, Ski, Donald, Kavish, thank you all for subscribing to the channel. Um, all FW players who have the desire to continue playing on the KVK map are invited to join one of the top three alliances. What do you think of that, Negan? I mean, it's a well-written email, at least, you know. It is a well-written email. It does give me some confidence in the leaders of their alliance. Right? I mean, like, the timing with no information seem... whatsoever. Yeah. That's like, you know, a well-stated message. I'll, I'll drop it into here so people can see it. Right? This is, this is what we're... Wait. Can I adjust it? Why can I not adjust this image? There we go. There we go. Savage. Oof. All right. Well, rules get enforced. I'm all for enforcing rules. How about you, Negan? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Burning a whole alliance for KVK. I mean, Seems or, bad. Yeah, I mean, during KVK. For, for I mean, the like, behaviors of to... one person during a kill event. Yeah, not mean, even like, a kill event. I, I'm just trying to think, like, if something like that would ever happen here, and I just, I can't fathom a world where, like, you know, maybe one of the other alliances, like a, a, a rig or an NL, or, you know, like, I, don't, I know people maybe watching don't know all the other alliances in our kingdom, but, you know, or maybe one of their people just didn't understand or or... I don't know, did something, and I just can't fathom a world where, you know, like, the whole alliance would get burned because of it. Like, I just, it just doesn't, I don't know. I mean, I think that we're a pretty, you know, pretty well unified kingdom, so I just don't, I think, I think that, that you know, the alliance would probably kick that person to the curb before it would ever come to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think, I, I mean, that KVK is going to be crazy. That KVK is going to be completely insane. Mm -hmm. And people are really stressed trying to get, you know, the latest insane commanders in the hands of the people that are going to do the rallies, which I understand. Right. Which I understand. I mean, if our KVK season three is any measure, right? Like, yeah. Oh, ooh, wow. Okay, we've got some reports. Oh, my. Oh, my. Do you want to see a report, Negan? Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, I think chat wants to see a report. Chat wants to see a report for sure. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, it's way too big. Hold on. I had to shrink it down. That's what she said. That is a, yeah, that's what she said. That's a high-resolution image right there. Woo! All right. Cities getting rallied? Savage. They rallied. So the city defense was Sao Tsao and Takeda. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. They must have had their fighters like out on the field and not realized yeah, they were getting say, rallied. They, they probably had that happen or they... Uh, you know, there used to be a thing where when you came into the KVK map, your garrison was reset I, actually that's a good time for me to go check that nope I'm still good okay <laughs> yeah I, I reported that bug and I was like that, that that can't be good crazy the XP killer says I wish I could have that garrison I don't know about that I don't know about that Juan Alex just shredding that thing jeez Shredded. All right, I'm going to open up the wheel. We're actually doing the Wheel of Fortune now. I'm just going to put out that uh, you didn't actually finish going through the update, but that's okay. Oh, did we not finish? 
No. I thought we had finished. You what? finished the equipment section, but that's it. Okay. Light and darkness. Teaming up screen is going to be more intuitive. They added an auto translate feature for kingdom announcements on the teaming up screen. So that, you know, Negan, when people troll our kingdom, now we can translate it into our own language. Right. All well, no, I mean, there, that, was a, that was an issue. There wasn't, a, there wasn't even a, forget auto translate, there wasn't even a translate button for the teaming up. Yeah, you had no so, clue what they were saying. Right. It was like, which, by the way, I mean, like, I don't know how, it, <laughs> an auto translate button on the team up page is not going to fix the communication problems that will naturally evolve because you can't communicate with the other kingdom. No, that's true. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chiskel, remember Kingdom 96 last KVK? Oh, Bruno, how can we forget? No. Who who was that? I don't even know. Was there a 96? I don't even remember that. Oh, you're right. The, the I mean, they, were, they weren't on the battlefield. The two strongest alliances migrated away in the beginning at KVK DDU and now 96RZ. So now 96 is pretty dead. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, but me. the last time I looked, RZ is still there. I mean, I mean, I'm sure the alliance is physically. No, there. no, 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 no. I mean, like, what was her name? Lady Valens, like the other, like the leaders of RZ, like their arc team is still there. The last time I looked was still there. Oh, interesting. So I, I thought that they were leaving as well after, you know, the last KVK. And yet the last time that I checked in on them, they were still there now they could have left since then but i mean it, you know within the last week or two i thought that i looked and they were still they were still there crazy so huh yeah i don't know now you got me looking now, now you're now you're looking to see what they're up to um other things in this patch uh all your kingdoms oh glorious victories and humiliating defeats are going to be recorded in the kingdom honor page they optimize the leaderboard in Soroli crisis Every general has their own ranking. You know, we were talking about how that makes a ton of sense, Negan, because previously, like, one of the Soroli bosses was faster to kill than the others, so you just... That's how you got on the leaderboard. So now oh, right. be a leaderboard it was all It was all the Ak and Hawk, I want to say. Every every number one was Ak and Hawk. Yep, that's right. Which is mind-boggling that that's the fastest one, but... <laughs> that's our favorite. No. That's our favorite, Negan. They adjusted the difficulty of some of the generals as well. That means probably some harder, some easier. Mm -hmm. Fixed an issue that caused the poison effect inflicted by Tamaris to not show. Seems like a good thing. Uh, you now need to go through a confirmation box after you choose max while using items. Seems good to me. Mm -hmm. You can now choose to add the same materials as last used while upgrading the star level of a commander. Which I also really like. So whatever combination you were using. Right, okay. Oh, um, I got it. Yep. Commander Talent Trophy Hunter now only takes effect when you defeat barbarians with the use of action points. Because apparently people were getting abusive amounts of resources by chaining barbarians. Seems unlikely, but... Oh, that's interesting. So what, is, what does that mean? So if you're AoEing a bunch of barbs, you only get credit for one for Trophy Hunter? Correct. That gives that's... 15 level, I don't know, one pick or a yeah, resource chest or whatever. But still, I mean, if you're AoEing, you're AoEing. Yeah, I mean, it was 15,000 resources, right? Like, yeah. it's a definite change. Right. Now, this one, Negan, you're going to find interesting. Defeating Marauder Encampments during Stage 3 in the eve of the crusade now grants the kingdom a fixed amount of crusade points which is no longer affected by the number of troops who join the rally i don't like that you know i mean that 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 means that a, a you know a, a kingdom that's not as active or you know involved can generate as many points as a kingdom that's really you know doing Super a good active. job of running you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I, me and my farm could go kill a a barb fort and get just as many points as a, a full alliance that has thirty people join the barb fort rally. Like, this is, doesn't make any sense. My you know? guess is that they were trying to address botting. Oh, uh, all right, I could see that. Yeah, but I I echo your sentiment that 
the limiting factor will now become the number of forts that spawn, not the number of players you have in your kingdom that are participating. Right. Right. I mean, because, and, and then, you know, like when we do, um, and I'm sure a lot of kingdoms are the same way, we go move in little clusters, you know, and that almost becomes moot. You almost want just two people off by themselves in each particular place just running forts together. Yeah. And, then you, it, know? and you know, most of the kingdom can Which do whatever be- they want. Right. It, but it also, you know, like, the appeal of a game like this is the social aspect and and also the frustrating part sometimes is the social aspect and you know like running barb forts like that where you have a cluster of 10 people and you're doing them together like that is kind of fun versus with this it's almost you you seriously are incentivized just to just have two people off by themselves just doing you know clusters of two people off just doing forts or even just you and your farm you know just running forts and you're gonna get just as many points like so i mean i do understand if they're trying to address barbs but i think that the net effect of this is going to be that uh you know less active kingdoms are going to get more credit than they deserve for that stage you know yeah i mean i think it's going to be really hard to change the net outcome of eva the crusade from that stage at all Quite frankly, like kingdoms are basically to get however many points there are for forts that spawn, and that's that. Right. Right. So, like, it basically means that training <laughs> decides the event in whole. Well, but I mean, training already kind of decides the event, realistic. I mean, unless that's really close, which we've had some close. Yeah. Ones, but, you know, but that's kind of the fun thing of the forts being last is, you know, if it is kind of close, then you know, it really becomes a question of, okay, how well does your kingdom work together and, you know, in running rallies and efficiency and all that stuff versus that all kind of goes out the window now. You're right. You know? You're absolutely right. I can't say that number six and number seven there are my favorites. That's for sure. Six and seven. The trophy hunter as well. I mean, I think uh, if you're if you're AOEing a barb, you're AOEing a barb. What's next? You don't get XP if you AOE a barb? I mean... It could be. I like AoE barb killing, though. Like, I don't like doing it, but I like that it exists. No, I understand. I'm just saying, like... I, I'm with how, you. How could people possibly be abusing that so much that... That's worthy of patching. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Come on. Of all the things we should be spending our mental energy on, it's that... It's the extra right. fifteen thousand resources people yeah, are getting. It's not from. it's not the coin for a third KVK. It's trophy hunter when you happen to chain three barbs together. Like, come on. Yeah, I it's mean, also not sending a message when uh the scores for a stage of either the crusade are incorrect, explaining why. Right, with one day left. Yeah, you know, or yeah. Whatever, yeah. In- instead left. all that energy went to uh changing the code and testing. 15,000 resources from free barbs. Yeah. Right? Like, how many of those chests do I have? More than enough. Right. More than enough. Whatever. I mean, they do add up. I got like 106,000 of them. <laughs> like, they do add up. Mm hmm. Okay. Now I think I do Wheel of Fortune for William. Okay. I appreciate you finishing the patch because I. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I, that's thank it. you for reminding me. It was not intentional that I moved away from that topic. By the way, if you are enjoying the stream, consider subscribing to the channel for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos or throwing a like on the video that does support the channel and helps out a ton. Smashing that like button. So, we need to spin William. Now, while I spin, Negan, I'm interested for your thoughts on this commander. I've talked about this commander a lot on my channel already. People kind of know what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Um, so once again, I was scrolling through the uh, ROK Discord suggestions, just looking at all the other people complaining about the coin, which I promise, it's the last time I'm bringing up the coin. But the thing <laughs> that I did see echoed repeatedly is how just stupid this rectangle thing is. Like, I... You know, I am very, very good at, like, stepping out of my shoes and, you know, looking at things from a a different perspective, and yet 
I can't figure out what the purpose of this rectangle is. Like, I do not understand the benefit of it at all. Yeah. Like, I, I you know, it just, is, is that enough to say he's a garbage commander? No, but I just, it's just such a weird thing for them to implement. And I, I'm just having a hard time understanding, like, this is the logic for it. You know, like, I, I don't understand why they're, you know, like, I, I'm a huge proponent of if it's not broke, don't fix it. Like, you know, you had YSG's circular AOE. Why feel compelled to reinvent it for Theo? Like, why not just take the exact, you know, copy paste the damn code from YSG to Theo and call it a day? Like, why reinvent the wheel for this stuff um, instead of just making it sensible and logical to where people can understand it? Which, yeah, yeah. That, that's my general thought on both of these commanders. And, and, Granted, I'm going to max both of them just because I skipped to Tilt-Kata. I'm going all in on both of these. I want to be one of our Cav Rally leaders for this KVK and whatever, moving forward in an arc. Uh, but, man, they have just overcomplicated the crap out of both of them. Like, they're, they're just... William's not as bad. Chandra is incredibly confusing. Um, but the confusing part of William is just the AOE. I mean, his skills are all pretty easy to understand, I think. Yeah. I don't think there's anything that's that's too complicated here so i'm taking william on the field now and negan here's my best guess right so for those of you that haven't seen william's aoe that's going to be on the screen in a second he's currently the secondary to lohar so you're going to get a peek at this um what i'm going to say is that the effect area is so small it's very hard to hit two targets it's almost unfathomable that you're going to hit three by the way we got an eight spot on the wheel negan we, we got 10 sculptures in one spin. It was pretty sick. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, so oh, I'll let you do your... your... My, my thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. So my thought is that they wanted the commander to have area of effect damage, um, but that they didn't want to make him overpowered. And so they gave him a small area of effect. That's my best guess. Because you're going to see... Look at the look at how lined up this is. Is this even going to hit? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Are you hitting two barbs kind of back to back? You would think so, but nope, it's not even in range, Negan. They're not they're like they're not even close enough. And the bigger problem is that when you aggro multiple barbs or even if you're just fighting on other players, when they angle around you, which they naturally do, it's not even like a thing a player has to choose to do. When the barbs naturally reorient themselves around you, you only hit the one instead of the two again, which right. is like, it's just ridiculous. So my thought here is that they just didn't want to make it overpowered. They no, wanted the there to be AOE, but like, it's really in only very small situations or very okay, few here, situations. Here, here's the two points or problems with it, which is, Number one, and I think you've said this, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you feel like William is designed to be a structure rally commander, whether he's whether he's primary or secondary, whatever. Um, and you said that in response to my question when we were talking offline about this, of his second skill, outside of Alliance territory, he's getting a damage boost, which theoretically, that means that you're supposed to be rallying a flag with it, right? That's an interesting or, idea. Or a structure. I mean, sure. like, that's the whole point of that, isn't it? Right? Well, I mean, I, it, it could just be... I mean, it could be for, for you know, field... Open field. I think at this point... Field. I think at this point he's, like, a, more of an open field specialist. Oh, because your original thing was that you thought that was for rallying flags. I thought it, I thought it would be. But at this point, I think he's more of an open field specialist. Because, like, when are you well, going to no, surround so... a flag? Like, uh... Well, in arc, you would surround the structure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. In, in arc, it would be amazing as well but so i'm trying to so okay well then maybe this is boot but then i was trying to think of um either way even for even for open field but but let me go back to a flag i, I just don't know how okay so my, here's my point which is uh, in his first skill you get extra value if he hits more than one target but once again i don't know that he would ever hit more than one target yep and then more importantly in his fourth skill half of it doesn't even work if he doesn't hit more than one 
target. Yep. And so, you know, if you're if you're hitting a flag, which is where I was going with this originally, but I'll I'll shift my thought in a second to open field. If you're hitting a hmm. flag, the odds of hitting anything else with that ridiculous AOE is zero. Well, I think. you might uh, get somebody when they're on their way in to reinforce. With just a, if they're walking from behind the flag. I mean, the timing would have to be remarkable, but that's yeah, where people I come mean, from frequently. No, I know. I mean, at least if it was a, you know, like a semicircle, like a Sun Tzu or whoever else, at least then you got a better chance of hitting somebody. But it's just so narrow and short and everything that I, I think that that second, uh, at least on a, on a rallying kind of person, which everyone's going so, getting so excited about this pair for rallying, and yet, half of this fourth skills garbage for rallying in my opinion but then let's talk about for open field presence right um once again they have to be lined up to your point like you just saw with that barb i mean they have to be lined up really well to hit two open field marches yeah. right uh because because once again like let's say let's say you're getting swarmed right let's say that somebody's swarming you Okay, um, you're not going to hit more than one because, yep. as we all know, when you're getting swarmed, they pivot in a circle around you, and so you're still not going to hit more than yep. one, right? So, like, let's say you took William into the ruins, he's not going to hit more than one target ever. I mean, unless you're just in a mosh pit of some sort, he's not hitting more than one target. So, you know, I think half of that fourth skill is gone like i i don't think you're ever using it i think his aoe might as well uh, I, I tried to move the barb over just so that like you could see it right next to the flag and how much you know range the aoe has but it's pretty small mm -hmm. yeah and uh, i mean the thing that really gives me pause about this commander is that the aoe is it even good for canyon i don't think it is i don't know that it's even usable in canyon you know, in Canyon, I think it might be just because you're, if he's back row, you might hit two targets. I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, he only uh, hits I, one currently. Like, I don't, I don't think there's an angle plus, where he's I think that hit two. For, I think that at least, you know, maybe not the early, well, by the time William comes out, you're not early game. So I was going to say a thing about early game, but at the, at the point where we're at in the game, it's mostly infantry in um canyon That's and true. i'm certainly not going to bring cav to the party they're just going to get wrecked you think so oh yeah no so here's my point is i'm trying to look at william in a you know he's coming out right now right before kvk or at the beginning mm -hmm. of kvk mm -hmm. and so the question is how usable is he for kvk and there's two places where the fighting happened one the ruins and two king's land over flags maybe some field there's also fighting, field both, the three i mean there's some open i will say there's some open field but but i'm i'm treating ruins as open field so i'm still saying like i'm just looking at you know in the ruins or or if i'm trying to rally a flag with him and like i said it, it i think you almost need to evaluate will william as if he does zero aoe which i think he will do very little aoe yep um and then you need to look at that fourth skill as if the second half of it basically never falls. Yeah. So. Yeah. For those just joining, we're chatting with Negan, who shares King responsibilities for 75. And uh, Negan and I have been playing Rise of Kingdoms together for a very long time. So, man. Yeah, I don't know where William is going to be good. Um, I think he's going to be good in... Huge Altar of Darkness fights. I think he's going to be good still for big open field fights. I guess we could test to see if it works in Canyon. We could test that and see if you hit multiple targets. Like, we kind of need to know. Does he do it or does he not? We could test that together. I could use one of my attempts for that. Easy. Although it's a little hard to see, you know? Like, it's kind of hard to see the damage. Oh, that's been sucked. Dude, I just spun and got research, wood, stone, food, and I guess 45 hours of speed-ups is decent, but... Ugh.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So, Negan, are you going to be investing in William at all? Um, I mean, like I said, I spun to 100. Uh, I'm not going to max spin. I'll spin to 100 next. Well, next time we're going to be uh, Universal Wheel, if I'm not mistaken. So, I think you're um, right. But um, I, I'm, I'm committed to maxing him if it's necessary to make him a pair with Chandra. I don't know who else we're thinking to put Chandra with, but I mean, I'm I'm committed to maxing two commanders, whoever we need to to make a. I'm more concerned with like a. Um, What's the rally pair? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like I said, I mean, like you know, even even William taking him into the ruin. Like, I, like I said, I'm I'm looking at this in the view of KVK, right? And William. You know, taking Cav into the ruin is always, you know, like I mean, people that have have watched you and and listened to us during a a ruins, man. Anyone walks in with any kind of Cav into a ruins, and it's like it's like you know, meat on the grill. I mean, like you know, yeah. everyone's well, focusing that Cav. Except until um, Takeda did work for me. Yeah, until Takeda, but that's the point. Is is William up to par with a? Attila Takeda with his skills. I mean, really, the biggest thing that is ex- interesting um, about hold on, Negan, I gotta interject. Okay, we got an eight spot, baby. We got an eight spot. Second eight That's spot. Two eight. That's two eight. Two spot, eight yeah. spots. Too bad we couldn't have rolls like this when we were battling against Dragothian. He and I had a little bet going. Let's just say that he got more sculptures, and now I need to buy and give away a piece of his merchandise. Specifically, one of his hoodies. Anyways, go on, Negan. No, I was gonna say. So the only two things about William that are interesting from a a ruins perspective. Let's just look at it that way, right? Because that's that's one of the two main fighting areas that you're dealing with in a KVK. Is I do like his first skill that he basically eliminates the extra skill damage. So you know, if you're bringing a a Guan to the table. Oh, yeah, that's uh, true. You know, his extra... Oh, no, Guan doesn't do skill damage, does he? Extra skill damage? No. I mean, he... Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, right. From the well, skill yeah. tree. If he, if, he, if he gains the... If he gains the uh, no, no, that's not it. It's the... It's skills. So it's like if you have, like, a Guan YSG... Oh, yeah, Guan no. ...doesn't do a, yeah. a skill... Right? Uh, uh, well, I mean, other than his... Other than his expertise where if he's got a shield he gets an active skill damage so it would nerf that when he gains a shield but well, I mean, like i'm thinking like if someone brings like a ramsey's ysg table you're cutting 50 percent of their skill damage yeah it's a big deal that is kind of nice i mean i do like that or you know if someone brings a you know a something with a sun or you know whatever there, there's plenty of commanders that do the extra skill damage um that you're nerfing which is kind of interesting and then once again you know, in if you're doing the ruins correctly, you're focusing with, you know, a little pack of other players. And so then that third skill, especially, you know, once you get the expert on it, uh, you know, you're... It, it, I, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but the, if the target's surrounded, it will take extra damage. Um, I'm assuming that means that the... Th- 30 per or no wait i'm assuming that means that the 10 percent right because it says 10 percent chance to inflict direct damage a thousand and yep. then it says if the target is surrounded it'll take extra damage i'm assuming that means when that 10 percent is triggered is what that means yeah um you know it's a 500 damage factor not great 500 at, at a 10 percent but it does work well for ruins because you're generally surrounding someone so if now, you bring a william you know if you bring a william in there to oh hell yeah to focus you know to focus people you know a william or a couple of williams you know you're getting some extra damage factor on it i guess so kind of interesting for that oh negan tripod pointed out to me how people are abusing barbs oh my goodness are you ready for this all right wait for a barbarian outside your city Summon barbs, levels 1 to 12. 
attack the level 25 or high level barb with AoE. It, it hits all the weak barbs. That's crazy. Oh, I okay. I understand that. That makes sense. Marina. I never thought about. I never thought about that. But yeah, I mean. Oh my gosh! Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Smash Squad. So there are ways to abuse it. Presumably. I mean, that's if you have a high level or a, a good barb near your city. Like right now, I'm looking. You at just the teleport next to one. You're gonna waste a teleport for this? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I don't think so either. I wouldn't, but. I, I see the idea. No, I mean, it does make sense. Why is there a lone camp sentinel over here that has not been hit? There's two of them. Weird. Okay. Random thoughts with Negan. Yeah. Uh, what I'll say is I would, you know, although we shared that approach, I would probably not try to do that now. Because, like, I don't know if the player's doing that or getting some sort of warning or ban, but it seems conceivable that could happen. Hey, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I don't know how to pronounce your you're name, not, you're but not, welcome to the Smash you're not, Squad. You're not really breaking the rules, per se. Not I mean. per se, but it, I mean, they could warn you, depending on how much you're abusing it. Yeah. I mean, that's one way to get material. I mean, that's that's a slow trudge to get materials. Because like you said, it's like a, what, a 1,000, you know? Materials? The trophy hunter. It's a, the chests are a 1,000, the, right? They're the random 1,000s, right? Yeah, resources. You mean? What did I say? You said materials. Resources. And I was like, "Oh my god, is there a way to get materials?" No. What? All right, one more spin. One more five spot. We'll see how we do. We got some pretty good stuff from these spins. Not amazing, but not bad. Really, landing on the eight spot twice was pretty good. That that was the key. All right. Oh, we finished it out okay. Just okay. So, Negan, I, I max spun. So I've spun 123 times now. Where's your William at? Um. So I put, like, 10 heads into him yesterday just to finish his first skill. So I'm, I'm maybe a little bit off. Oh, uh, wow. I, took, I got way I more sculptures than you then. Uh, well, no, no, no. So that was yesterday, and then I got 17. Oh, more. oh yeah, no, you're way ahead of me. Right. You're ahead of me. Okay. So, I mean, I, I like I said, I probably got 40 or so total, at least, maybe more. Because what I, like I said, I, I, I max spun yesterday. You know, I did my however many spins you get, 60 spins. Yep. And then I rounded up with universals to finish this first skill so I could... um. I was I was running around doing a bunch of barbs, and I wanted to put XP into him, and I can't take him past ten until his first skill is done. So I just you know put like ten heads or fifteen heads or whatever I needed to finish his first skill. Does that make sense? It does. So right. I got a request to try Sunset Canyon with this commander. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Yeah, you probably just have to zoom in and see if uh, you it can hits see anything. if he. Yeah. yeah. Let's um. We'll put him. Actually, I know where I'm going to put him. Okay, I'm gonna put him in the I mean, top so, row. So, so if you uh, if you put him on the bottom row, he'll pivot to hit. He'll be kind of in the middle. I figured I'd put him in the top row. All right. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. It'll be easier to see the bottom row. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because okay, so what Kana's gonna do is he's gonna march over and go like this and angle down. And so we're going to see if it hits Guan Yu as well. Okay. So I, I did Con William as the pair. Let's see. Let's see if he's any good in Canyon, shall we? Is William going to be viable in Canyon? There's going to be so much going on. I don't know how... Uh, we're going to find out. All, you almost need to... Uh, like, do Bro, a... I, I don't think so. Um. Oh, man, it's hard to see. I That's what I was gonna say. You almost I need don't to. No, no. Listen. What you almost need to do is you almost need to stage a sunset where you only have maybe two commanders or something because there's, there's just too much going on. I don't there know is how too much can... going on. I, I think it is hitting to... though. 
I think it's hitting this Ethelflaed. I'm not sure. It's really hard to say. Uh, man. Um, it's really hard to say. Replay and see, but... Even the, the replay is just so hard to see. Mm -hmm. I would need to battle somebody. And to your point... Where you just have like two commanders or something. Well, so here's what I didn't expect, Negan. I think who he's hitting is actually the, the uh, upper right march that swings down from the enemy. Mm. Not the bottom march that swings down, which I wasn't expecting. Well, but I think the point is whether or not he's capable of hitting more than one in that environment at all. And I, it sounds like the answer is yes. I think so. So now what I've done, let's try this. Wait, no, I got to keep him there. Maybe I have some commanders that do no skill damage. I could set it up like this. I think this works. I think I've got this figured out. So I'm going to put the Richard, the Joan of Arc Takeda, and the Richard Charles Martel in the front. The only commander of mine that does skill damage is Khan with uh, William. This, mm -hmm. this, this is a test. Let's find out what happens. I mean, I should lose, but like, does the damage work? All right, chat, I need your help with this. I, I don't know how to... We got to see if we can see it. I think I'm going to hit their con. How many, uh, how many gems do you have right now? I think I hit him. I, I definitely hit him. I definitely hit him. I'm trying to change the subject. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure... Negan, what I'm seeing is like I hit two targets for about the same amount of damage. I didn't see if I was hitting the bottom one. Did you see that, chat? What do you think? Was it working or not working? Why are you asking how many gems I have, by the way? Oh, gosh. You want to stage this in, uh, in Lost Canyon? No. Oh, okay, good. What does it have to do with gems? Because you were going to use up some gem attempts, maybe. Oh, no. Because we're really close to finishing stage one of... Uh the crusader for oh, okay it hit chat is saying it hit how many did it hit only two just hitting two okay it works it does work so i mean that's pretty game changing that's pretty game changing honestly that that does seem really good for canyon then it does seem extremely good. He hit two targets. Chat, chat has confirmed it. Why were you? Oh yeah, gem, gemming the Crusader Fort. Well, I mean, I just didn't know if you had a. No, but. Oh, well, here's what I'll do. If we get to. Three hundred likes, I'll do a thousand gems. We need eighty likes to get there. 80 likes on the video, I'll put a thousand gems in the Crusader for it. That seems easy. Man, that's only two donates. Kind of that's 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 not enough. Because Negan, I'm gonna you're gonna see what's about to happen here. I did this yesterday and I ended up doing like eight thousand gems. It was insane. You're saying for every three hundred likes. How about for every one hundred likes? I'll do another thousand gems. We'll okay, just lay it out on the cool. table. So I get to 300 likes, I'll do 1,000 gems. Because 1,000 gems won't make a dent. I get to 400 likes, I'll do another 1,000. Okay. 500 likes, I'll do another 1,000. I did a lot of gems this way yesterday, I'm not going to lie. See, we're up to 300 likes already. We're up to 300 likes already. All right, I'll do, I'll do 1,000 gems here. Boom. Donated a thousand gems. Well, 
we're well on our way to the next tier. Um, Nestorbong, thank you for subscribing to the channel, as well as Bruno. I appreciate you both, as well as Default Go. Welcome to the Smash Squad. Thank you for subscribing. Dude. Okay, so I am kind of hyped now about William and Canyon, but there's just one problem. The problem I see, Negan, is that there's literally only one position on the board for William. You know what I mean? That seems problematic to me. Like, the only place I could put William is in the bottom left. Which is uh, a, like is a premium I, spot. Me, though, That's the Esong think... spot. I think the bigger issue is, like I said, he, you're bringing a Cav commander to an infantry fight, you know? Yeah, I, I think he's actually... I hate to say, but like compared to Esong, I almost feel like he's not usable. Although, <gasps> okay, Negan, I take it back. So check this out. On defense, where do you put your Esong? Uh, the top row. Yeah, you always put it in the top row so that he swings down. And guess who gets hit by William in the one place that William has to go? Is the Esong. Mm. So William will be basically guaranteed to counter the skill damage. Guaranteed to counter the skill damage of the Esong. And whatever they pair them with, who probably has more skill damage, right? Right. But then you don't get to use Esong yourself. So what's better, countering the skill damage or using Esong yourself? I would think it's using Esong yourself. Don't you? I think so. Yeah, I mean, you know, it might bring some more diversity to the sunset field, I guess. That way it's not just all infantry, right? Uh, yes. Although it is, okay, so I, uh, it is slightly more, however. Oh, hey, stage is done, Negan. Past glory. Stage two. Woo, guess I didn't need to do more than a thousand gems after all. <laughs> Ruined Crusader Fort. Complete. Sick. All right. All right. Past Glory, stage two, is active. Negan, we have to be the first kingdom to get to that point, right? So according to this, 46 is still on stage one. Yep. How far are they? It, it's not showing me the percentage for whatever reason. Hmm, maybe they are in stage two. Uh, 89 also is showing stage. This could be a bug. 89 is showing stage one as well. So do you think they beat us to the next stage? I, I don't know. I mean, it's it still says stage one, so I... I... Oh, I'm looking at a Crusader camp. Um... 258 still says stage one. I mean, until we see it change, we won't know if that's a bug or... I think it's a bug. I think they're already there. That's my suspicion. It would really surprise me if they... Uh, no, everybody's showing zero. Yeah. Hmm. Everybody's showing zero. I doubt everybody beat us to the next stage. That seems really unlikely. Right. Because we had someone spend like 800,000 gems. So... <laughs> Bugs! Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Your name's in green. You get the badge. Link in the description to the Discord where we have a members-only room. And... You get all the channel emojis. Let's get those hype emojis. Welcoming Bugs as a new member. Also, Simok, Siafi, and Nesterbong. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Smash Squad. They're still in stage one, 53%. Okay, Cortex has our back, Negan. 46 is still wow. at 53%. Only 53%. That's way behind. Yeah. Um... You know, there's not, like, that much of a prize for finishing your RCF. You pick your color. No, but it's, you know, it's more of a pride thing. It is definitely a pride thing. What color are we going to choose, Negan? I mean, Bruce was asking if we wanted to do a poll, but, I mean, literally the last two times we did a poll and it was blue both times. So I don't know if we right. bother doing a poll or not. Just go with blue? Yep. Yeah. 
That seems very likely to me that we're just going to go no, with blue. No term limits here for territory color. I mean, like, we know 1189 is probably going to go pink. We know 258 probably wants to go green, right? Uh, I don't know if that was their, the, like, you know, I, I don't remember wh where they finished last time, if that was like an active choice or if they, uh, you know, maybe didn't have any other, you know, I, I don't, you know, if that's what they wanted or if that's just what, what was they left. got stuck with. Yeah. 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 Hard to say. I mean, obviously they were not the last ones to go. <laughs> so they, <laughs> they, they had some kind of pick. Oh, Negan. Did 96 what? I didn't even say, finish? I didn't say, I didn't say who was last. I just did, said, did they, they even finish? I said who? Did they even finish? There oh, are... I, don't, I don't even remember. I mean, they went yellow eventually, but I don't remember. I think that might have just been because they ran out of time. No, because I thought that if you, or maybe that's just if you don't capture the Crusader. I know I've looked at KVK maps where they're not single color. You know, they're still, is that just if you don't ever capture, you know, if you, I know I've seen somewhere they can't even rally the CF successfully. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. That seems no, because you don't think like I've looked at KVK maps where they're not single color. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't know what if that's only if you don't, uh, you know, capture the CF, or if that's if you don't finish all the stages. You know what I'm saying? Now, Negan, do you remember if it's worth? Like, I know you get extra rewards, but are they particularly worth it for working on this stage of the RCF? Like, should people be going out of their way to spend action points? Well, we need to finish it. So I don't know what you're talking about. Well, we need to finish stage two, of course. But I mean, like, you know, as an example, on my restart project, where I really don't care about my action points at all and getting anything with honor, like, I'm just going to go completely ham with my AP and spend, you know, maybe 100,000 AP as fast as I can spend it. Because, like, it's barbarians and it's something extra. I'm in, is what I'm trying to right. say. Especially if there's some other event for barbs. Oh, my God. That's, like, the well, dream. Well, I mean, keep in mind we've got the um, the Twilight stage is coming up in two hours for barb forts. So there's going to be a double incentive to be rallying barb forts. Oh, yeah. Um, Those forts are going to get wrecked. And then if, um, you know, depending on how you're doing on your Lucerne, you know, there's barbed forts that need to be killed there. Uh, we still have the summer party that has barbed forts. Yeah, I'm going to do a ton of barbed forts for that. I I'm going to so, be doing barbed forts like crazy. Right. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, because unfortunately, the, the Marauder forts didn't count for any of this stuff. But these are going to be normal barbed forts, you know. So for the Lucerne, for Summer Party, for a lot of other things, the Barb Forts are probably the way to go. Now, in terms of honor, they're probably not the best value. Right. But in terms of getting multiple duty out of it, and, you know, because you'll get credit for Lucerne, you'll get credit for Twilight, you'll get credit for Summer Party. All um, the good stuff. There, there's a lot of things that you'll be getting extra credit for, yep. you know, for, for Barb Forts. So like, I, I think Barb Forts are the way to go for this stage oh juggernaut's in the chat oh that's funny juggernaut oh okay juggernaut was quoted in the chat i thought the chat summoned juggernaut but but it sounds like juggernaut commented and then the chat observed his presence so um the observation was that 96 did did not in fact finish their crusader fort that's what he's saying okay but they still got to pick their color at the end yeah that's right that's right. Do you still get the hospital capacity if you don't actually finish it? You do. You do. You do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Cabo is asking if William is any good. Should he expertise William or Khan? I mean, I think William's a better expertise. I think they're really good together, though. Like Negan. Can we just talk for a second about it? The rage buff? Because that's really good. Well, no, and, but the rage buff only works if you hit more than one target. But for Canyon, that's amazing. Because you can put him in that position where you know he's going to. Yeah. 
I mean, as long as we're sure that he does. Right? <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm very confident he's hitting multiple targets. Negan, what if the bottom lane in Canyon? I'm just spitballing. Is E Song with Ramses, and then behind it is Khan with William. Is that terrible? That way your E Song still hits everything. Right? And your uh, William is going to be giving you the rage buff. Yeah, I, that's interesting. I guess we need to figure out if William's buff stacks with Joan. That's the key. That's the key. I don't know why why wouldn't it? I don't know. Juggernaut, if you wanted to get in voice, by the way, all you have to do is just uh join join the voice chat that you see us in. You can see our voice chat, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, cool. You're welcome to join us if you wanted to. We're just hanging out, chatting. Now, I'm going to do something that's either going to be really jarring or really awesome. I'm going to turn on some music just in the background. Chat, let me know about the volume. I turned it way down. It should be fine. But let me fire this up and let's see how it goes. I lowered it even more. Might be too loud still. Hold on. Okay, how is the music volume now? And uh, Negan, say something for us. I do not hear the music at all. No, so. you hear you you hear nothing. Just the sound of my voice, the sweet, sweet sound of my voice. Okay, volume is both good and low. Good now, good now, good there. Okay way too loud huh very loud how about now i think they're trolling you possible i don't know negan the chat thinks you sound like a viking i sound that, that seems really random <laughs> Welcome to the internet, Nian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, now chat thinks the volume's good. Or that it's too low. I don't know. I can't make everybody happy. Um, so can I ask a slightly related yet unrelated question? Anything you want, Negan. Uh, are we really not doing a one troop flag? Because I had this pretty well timed to finish our one troops just in time to get to the past. No, hell no. Dude, we gotta gather. You know what okay. I mean? Sure. We gotta we gotta make sure we win this stage. And then we can one troop all we want. Um but the the stage is done. Just a day away. Day and oh, I know. One. seven hours. Already. Yeah. That's a fair question. I'm using AP bottles for barbs. I'm on my farm, so I'm just kind of doing it for the kingdom more than I'm like, I don't need anything on my farm, you know? Do you do that, Negan? Just like, I mean, you gotta have a lot of time. Do you just, you know, like an event like this, you're not gonna spend AP on your main. Uh, I've been actually doing oh. on my main just because I. I don't know. I'm usually really bad about um, um, I don't even know what I was saying. Really bad about uh, honor points, and so I've been trying to do a better job this time. So. Are you going to go for the city skin? 10% archer attack? I think I kind of have to because Spartan keeps acting like he's a badass because he's got it and I don't. So. <laughs> What are friends for, if not to rub it right. in your face? Yeah. Fair enough. Well. Fair enough. I'm debating if I should go for it. I mean, like, 10% attack is better than 5% defense, you know? Right. Although I have 5% skill damage. That's now countered. Awkward. Slightly awkward. Whoa, Negan. I have an idea. 
what about this is for canyon what about <laughs> bottom left william primary with e song secondary all cavalry uh it's interesting that gives you the rage gen boost it also gives william extra rage gen from e song well, i hold on i, I eh? no i got a, something better but okay you got something better because that's the premium spot for Esong. Like, he has to be bottom left spot. No, but are we assuming... No, but you're talking about for defense or for attack? Defense. No, bottom left is not where you want Esong. You want him the second row. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. On defense, you're right. I was talking about attack. You're right. I was talking about attack. For defense, he needs to be upper. That's right. And if... I, uh, let me point something else out. Um... I'm pretty sure that Max or someone asked VIP at one point about someone else that we just got recently about the outside of Alliance territory buffs like William has and whether or not that applied in Sunset and their answer was no. So I just want to put that out there. What? I could have swore somebody said that. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because it's not a territory. It's just a game mode or whatever. Negan, are you ready for more of the internet? Okay. Liam says, Negan sounds like he could smooth talk a donkey into thinking it's a unicorn. Hmm. <laughs> Your reaction? I, the, the weirdest I've heard before that was, uh, sell a ketchup popsicle to a woman wearing white gloves. Okay, that's pretty oh. wild. Yeah. Um, they also think you should narrate audiobooks. You know, I have been told that before. <laughs> Are you serious? Have yeah. you considered it? Um, you know, I've looked into doing like different voiceover stuff, but I don't know. If anyone is interested in hiring, you can feel free to message me on Discord. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. If you need voiceover work, you could have Negan's voice, apparently. There you go. Do a movie trailer. I mean, I'm not going to make you say on demand something like in a world where, you know, what I, you know what I'm talking about? The, the quintessential movie trailer. Right. In, in a, a world, world oh, sorry, where KVK does not give you a coin. <laughs> I was going to say where barbarians don't cost action points. But yeah, no, uh, I think yours is better. I like mine way better. Yeah, fair enough. But you know, you gotta, you gotta really like, you know, it's like in a world where barbarians don't cost action points. So you know, something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that costs extra. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, the last couple were free, so you know, you right. get what you get what you pay for. Your your, your free trial expired. <laughs> oh God, why? What am I doing with my life? Actually, I mean, I'm kind of having fun. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Negan, am I supposed to be putting my coins in a bumper season? Uh, I haven't looked at where we're at. We probably need to just coordinate that with our allies, yeah. I think. I'm halfway, it's like halfway done, so. I assume that's where they're supposed to go, but that could be everybody's been messing up, and now I'm just making it much worse. It's highly probable. <laughs> it is highly probable. Wait for Optimus Prime? Oh, man. Optimus Prime. What's the Optimus Prime line? What's an Optimus Prime line? I don't even know what that means. Oh, my gosh. Please tell me you've seen Transformers. Of course I've seen Transformers. I just don't know what Optimus Prime line we're talking about. Well, he, he says something like, I am Optimus Prime. Oh, that's Doesn't it? He? I mean, like, that, that's it. That's I'm pretty sure Optimus he transforms Prime. first. And if you're beatboxing, you need to, like, beatbox the transformation, you know? And then say, I am Optimus Prime. Oh, and oh, that's a lot. no, no, no. Autobots that's... roll out. Oh. Autobots roll out. That's okay. the one. If you guys, 
you know, I, I tell you what, I'll go on Cameo and then you can just pay me to say whatever you want. Oh, okay. That. There you go. Then go. I'll, I can be your voicemail message. What if, what if we got to 500 likes? Would you do Autobots roll out? See, I don't get anything out of the likes though. Another person. All I'm right. Like, you know, I like helping you out, but that doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Like people don't like me. Like that doesn't do any good. All right. All right. I mean, like, I don't know. It's like it's like the Reddit karma. Like, what is the value actually there? Nothing. <laughs> uh... maybe, maybe someone can explain that to me. I've never really fully understood like Reddit. Karma. What what could you do with it? I think the answer Reddit... is nothing. Dude, like, Reddit karma is just figuring out whether or not you're like a jackass or not. Well, okay. And and it. That's not in an absolute sense. It's more of like the world's perception of you. And it's funny because all you have to do is one shitty thing and like your karma's gone. Right. The nature of karma. Mm. Just school using Negan to get likes. That's very funny. Uh... Ah, some people did like the video in response to that. So I'll take oh. it. Well, there you go. I'll take it. <laughs> oh crap all right i'm gonna send all my barb folks oh, where am i going there's no more barbs all the barbs are dead okay there's a couple over here i can we have killed all the barbs negan i've just been walking in circles around the crusader camp i mean i burned probably four or five thousand ap well more than that probably ten thousand ap yesterday just making circles around the crusader camp because the they're, we're getting level 30s over there or 31s 31 and ups yeah those are nice those are worth spending some ap on right i mean that's the only reason to do it i mean like uh, it's maybe not as my velocity is probably not as fast but um you know i'm actually getting good value out of it at least totally fair totally fair hearing negan is like listening to morgan freeman I don't have freckles, so. I was wondering what your reaction was gonna be. Sorry. Um, folks are asking if I have an equipment guide. I do. Will I make another one? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I mean, it sounds to. like after this update, it's gonna Everything probably, changes. It, it's gonna get thrown out. I mean, you're literally, you're gonna have to redo it. I mean, cause that, I mean, everything's gonna change, it sounds like. Yep, that's right. The whole thing changes. Which I'm, excited for like net positive you know where's the last spartan where is the last spartan probably at work that's a fair assertion that's a fair assertion i mean it's it's uh 145 his time on a wednesday he's probably at work yeah just a guess and you've got some flexibility with your work that you're able to hang out on the stream today. I've committed a bit more time than I was expecting. But yes. <laughs> well, you don't have to stay the whole time if you've got other stuff you got to do. You know, like uh, voice acting. No, I'm good. For now. I was no? I've been texting someone that I needed to go do something for and oh, okay. that got canceled. So I'm good. Cool. Easy. Multitasking. You jump on and see Chiss's lips moving, but hear Negan. Is my audio synced up? No, I think if they. Oh, I, I don't know. It might not be. It's conceivable that it might not be. Maybe like one of those things where like I'm standing behind you and using my arm to do stuff. Right? Oh my god. And like, you know what I'm talking about? Where like I'm trying to feed you, but it's my hands right behind you. Those are always funny. Thankfully, it's just a green screen behind me. Nothing yeah. creepy actually behind me. I'm in the corner of a dark basement. Audio is all good. I guess it's not that dark. I got a lot of lights. Dude, Negan, a lot of people think you've got a career ahead of you as a voice actor, should you so choose. Someone wants to point me in the right direction. I'll be happy to take any suggestions. Would, would you really want to do that? I would. I think that would be interesting. You know, the problem is like, 
I probably don't know where to start for something like that. I've had, I mean, I seriously have had a lot of people make that suggestion and I've maybe partially procrastinated and partially just not really known where to go for something like that. So, I mean, like I, I've, I've looked into it and there are, um, there's companies online that where you could basically like sign up for audiobooks like someone i know someone suggested that but there's companies uh I can't remember which one I'm thinking of um wh where you 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 sign up you know and they just pay you a flat rate and you do an audiobook or whatever like i've seen some of those but yeah. you know well and now let me ask a different question again what okay. microphone are you using anything fancy or just like some old thing that feels comfortable on your head or like are you talking about right now right now I'm literally on speakerphone on my iPhone. That's insane. So this is what your voice sounds like without a proper microphone. Yeah. Holy shit. You realize with like a proper microphone, like Optimus Prime would be asking you if, if like you could do the lines for him. <laughs> Something like that, I guess, huh? Yeah. With a proper microphone? Dude, I don't well, even have a proper well, microphone. And well, no, good, so like, good effing like luck so getting a microphone now, by the way. Oh my God. Webcams, microphones, it's all 5X the price. It's absurd. Like I said, I, I saw, I, you know, I, I've Googled it before and kind of looked into like different, I mean, there, there's definitely no like, at least from what I can tell, like jumping into actual like voice acting voice, like, uh, you know, like if you were trying to, you know, be a voice for some commercial or a Pixar or it's like you, you don't just jump both feet into something like that. It it doesn't it doesn't work like that. No, uh, but there are sites but, that like you can probably advertise your voice and your services and your hourly rate. Nah, I mean, realistically, the easiest thing is, like I said, these audiobook things where you can get paid like 500 bucks to narrate an audiobook but that's still hours and hours and hours of time to, yeah i mean know, it's it, it's not lucrative no no and and then you know i've looked into like you know different talent agents and stuff like that and nothing ever, i mean like I've, I've never even contacted one but i've looked into them and it's like eh, i don't know that uh they would even take me seriously so i don't know that's what i'm saying if someone actually knows someone that's an agent that would uh actually be interested in something like that i would definitely be open to chatting there you go so, and i'd is... give you a cut and i'd give you a finder's fee oh a finder's fee huh nice I, that probably would work all right well um how would folks get in touch with you like i know your discord do other people know your discord how would they ever find that um i don't know it, I mean, I, I know a couple people messaged me through the uh, Rock Discord because they saw my suggestion and then you could click me and send me a direct message. Well, there you go. That's how they'll find you. I, I would say you could do that or um, I, I don't know. You're in the uh, official Rise of Kingdoms Discord. That works. Oh, the whole team zigged and I zagged. My bad. What? What did you? What? What did I miss? Nothing. I'm just killing barbs. And like, oh. there's, yeah, there were two people with me and I went the wrong way. Now Tripod is kindly obliging. Chat wants you to say EA Sports, it's in the game. That's a good one. How, how many likes is the video, is the stream up to? 425, not quite enough. Yeah, yeah that's not enough, I don't think, for a, for a copyright infringement. Oh, is that what that would be? No, I don't know. You, you would sound so much like it that they would think it is. Yeah, well, hey, maybe then EA would reach out and be like, oh, we need you to start doing this now. This dude sounds like he could chill out the whole kingdom with just his voice. <laughs> How's that worked out for you, Negan? I mean, the kingdom's pretty chill for the most part. Apparently, it didn't work on some people, but... Uh... <laughs> nope, certainly did not. <laughs> I mean, Some people were not convinced by the voice. No. Uh -uh. Oh, God. Oh, man. It's all worked out for the best in the end. 
I mean, I think it could have, you know, been better for them, better for us, but it's been fine. Yep. Does on the map work in Sunset Canyon? See, I think it does. I think See, it does. See, and I'm telling you, I, I'm pretty you sure don't think it does. Max or somebody specifically asked about on the map, or, or it was either on the map or, um, you know, the, the Alliance territory or not Alliance territory, and they responded as if it's a game mode, so none of that stuff worked. So let me, I think we have an easy way to prove it, thankfully. Okay. And I think we already know the answer. Alexander the Great's second skill is an on-the-map skill. And, but how, how are you going to prove that that works in Sunset? You would say that Alexander the Great's healing debuff and big skill damage applies, right? No, but I, I'm asking you how... I mean, you just see the damage pop. I mean, we... Uh, and, and like how are you gonna know that 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 the, the eight that it's a 10 percent chance of a of a a damage factor how are you gonna know that comes from him if you wanted to you could pair richard with uh alexander the great put him in the offlane and you just watch it but i can tell you we already know it works that way 100 percent that works i would be astonished if alexander the great is as good as he is in canyon Without that, no, it definitely works. I mean, we've had fights. No, like I said, it, I, 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 I had said I don't remember if it was that or if it was the territory versus non-territory stuff, like William does, where they don't give you credit. For oh, that when it's off territory versus on the map. On the map's a different set of language. You're saying off That's territory. Saying, I couldn't remember which one it was. Oh. And I think it's the territory versus non-territory, and they don't give you and sunset because it's a game mode. There's no territory whether you're on or. Off, what I'm saying, I, I could have swore, and there was some other commander that just came out recently that was. You're gonna make me go look. There's I mean, some that, commander so, we just had recently that that had a on territory versus off territory. That's like Hannibal Barca's got that. No, it was somebody recent that we just got hmm. that had it on territory versus off territory. Does it? Hmm. I will say, you know, we're just running around doing this barbarian hunting for extra value. The extra value is pretty good, right? Like, if I kill 150 barbs and I get, okay, 10,000 alliance credits kind of sucks. Actually, hold on. Or, or like, you know, 500,000 food is good. But 10,000 10, Alliance credits, let's talk about that for a second. How many Alliance credits is a teleport? Or even better, a civilization swap. It's 2 million. So how many I mean, gems I mostly, did I get? I'm mostly using my Alliance credits on uh, territorial teleports. So yeah, that's what, it's, one, 150? But here's the thing, a Civ swap, I guess you're mostly using it. I mostly use them on Civ swaps, dude. It's I'm not swapping Civs that often. I don't know what you're doing. Really? I have not swapped from Ottoman since Ottoman came out. That's interesting. I, in the off season, use Germany. And when it's time to rally for Kingsland, I'm gonna use whatever rally combo it is, or rally Civ. Right. I mean, the only reason that I would fathom to change civs, and I don't know if you ever talked about this on your stream or not, but uh, is if you were mass training troops, because we've proved that it's worth the cost. Yeah, it's totally worth it. Even if you're gemming, it's worth the cost of a civ swap for, what is it, over a million T5? Is that what it was? Somewhere around there. Yeah, something like that. It's not that high, honestly. It's a low yeah. number. I mean, that to me is the only reason for a civ swap. I, I understand what you're doing with Germany for what the training speed. Hell yeah. I'm just, I, don't, I think I've talked about this before and I'm going to say it again. I am really, really lazy and I hate walking and I really miss, I, I've talked about this before, but in, in mobile strike, you could speed up your march speed. And that's yeah. like the biggest thing that I miss. I hate walking places. So Ottoman with the extra march speed, I don't want to give that up. That's, that's fair. Fine thing and i like the skill damage i really like skill damage so yeah 
Oh, someone in the chat uses their coins for uh, talent resets. That's reasonable. Yeah, talent resets are a good one too. I've I've used it for that. I like I said, I I, I would probably say territorial teleports. I put <laughs> goes back to the idea that I don't like walking. <laughs> I port a lot, uh, and so I I'm usually skimming the bottom of the barrel on teleport, and then. Uh, if I need to do a talent reset, then yeah, I use my coins for a talent reset. That's another good one. Yeah, so. that's a good one. <laughs> a request for uh, Welcome to Jurassic Park is a line they I, want you to say. Yeah, someone just identified how old they are. <laughs> Jurassic Park was a great movie. It um, was a great movie, but I mean, I mean, for like the time, it was amazing. Circa right? 92. Yeah, like, oh yeah. I don't know. I was young enough that my parents were, I think, having to decide, like, oh, does he see it? Does he not see it? Uh, my parents took me to go see it. Yeah. In fact, here's a little bit of... I think I can say... Yeah, I can say it's not... I mean, the the odds that anyone would ever... Yeah, okay. So, not only did my parents go to take me to see it, but when Jurassic Park 2 came out... um. I went to the theater to see it, and the local news station was like there because it was you know a big deal, like highest box office at the time, whatever. And the local news station was there, and they actually interviewed me and my dad to see what we thought about. Them. So nice. A bit of my my not even fifteen minutes of fame, my thirty seconds of fame. That's right. And, that's right. Yeah. So. That's cool. I don't think I've ever been on the news. Have I? I personally, I don't think so. Uh, I've been on the news a couple times after that. Yeah? Yeah. I can do, I'll tell you another one. I don't think this one, I'm trying to like, think of like, what gives away like. Yeah, you gotta protect your identity. Yeah. No, no, so then in, in high school, our chemistry class made the world's largest periodic table of elements on the football field and the news came out for that. Huh. So. The world's largest periodic team. I know. One of those really nerdy things. That is right? super nerdy. <laughs> yeah. In all the right ways, though. Because, like, it turns out, as an adult, being nerdy is probably a really positive trait for work. It depends on the kind of work, but, like, being smart is generally works out pretty well. People are wondering what to do with their passports. Thornado is saying, wait 45 days. Kingdom 75 is a destination for <laughs> yeah. all. There you go. Doing the advertising you, for you, Negan. You know, so there's an interesting question that I don't know. I have not seen the answer to. Um, and I'm, I'm going back a patch. But this last update that they just did said something about um, when you use passports it, the wording was really bad it said all kings in that kingdom are notified do you remember that i vaguely remember but it, i didn't understand if that meant the place that you're leaving from is told that you're leaving huh. or the place that you're going to is notified that you arrive you understand what i'm saying yeah you've seen like, how that works now though right no why oh. we haven't had anyone migrate here so i i have no idea so uh, i know what that looks like from my restart account and what it looks oh, okay. like is the whole kingdom gets a mail. When you leave or when you come? When you arrive. When you arrive. Okay, right, because we've, we've been locked for KVK. Right, since, since that, that came update, out. So I have not yeah. seen that. So in other words... Uh, King Talib has entered your kingdom, is the message you get. Right, okay. Well, that's nice to know. Yeah, because it's when a governor uses passport pages to immigrate to a different kingdom, all governors in that kingdom... Or receive a notification message. So I didn't yep. know if that meant when you leave or when you come. So I guess that means when you it means so. when you arrive. Which, yep. like, you certainly would want to know. Well, it's nice because I don't know about all people in the kingdom need to know. It would be nice if even just the king was notified. <laughs> yeah. because... So you know who the heck is coming and going? Or right, just exactly. Coming? I yeah. mean, you know, we had a lot of people come. And when the cap is set at 35 mil and you have people under that coming... You don't even know that they've arrived, let alone if you raise the cap, you know, to let a particular person come and then maybe someone else slips through. I know we had 
at least two people leave our kingdom and go somewhere without even telling anyone that not 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 telling us they didn't tell the kingdom they were going to that they were going yeah. uh, which is kind of strange and high power people like they just slipped in through the cracks and then we got messages like hey who is this person because they didn't tell us they were coming and they just showed up here like yep. you know so nice to know when people have arrived but also yeah. what's kind of cool is you could go you know like say hello to whoever's arrived because all you have to do negan is um tap their little portrait uh-huh and it'll take it you, takes you to their, to their profile. government profile yeah that's nice it's, yeah. it's quite nice mm-hmm. right well, like i said i don't know that it's necessary to spam the whole kingdom with it but i mean it's better than nothing so i mean i'm gonna mention again this prospect of what will presumably happen at some point for some kingdom which is talib has joined the kingdom right and like would you want to know about that negan i think regardless of who you are in the kingdom you want to know you know regardless of what's happened with him you know he's generally speaking a better fighter than not and he would make a valuable addition to some kingdoms you're absolutely maybe, correct you know where no question you know maybe they don't put some of the the limits that we put in place and they're you know the, the problem is that we just have such high visibility that we can't afford some of the things that he would do now now do i disagree with some of the things that he would do no i mean do I like the idea of zeroing some players? Absolutely, I am on board with that. But it's things, there's certain things that we just can't do, and that his personality, not personality, his gameplay style doesn't fit here. Now, would it fit other places where they don't live in MG and he can just do whatever he wants, or if he wants to go zero some people at the end of a KVK and people aren't going to take notice of it as much? and or maybe just the kingdom is on board with that then great i'm sure he'd fit in just fine with those places but you know it just didn't fit here unfortunately and yep. so you know it was just a personality conflict i guess you would call it yeah not even personality conflict but more like a place i mean just a conflict. game a game style or gameplay yeah 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 I yeah. Mean, yeah so um yeah i mean i've said i've said multiple times like i kind of wish him all the best and whatever he wants to do Right. I mean, that was really the big, I mean, like to give you everyone an idea, I mean, like that's the straw that kind of broke the camel's back, so to speak, with him and Kingdom 75 is that at the end of KVK, he wanted to go zero some cities. And I understand that's the nature of the game. I enjoy zeroing some cities as much as anyone else. Um, But especially after the the way that we rub some people wrong after at the end of KVK three, we really did not want a repeat of that at KVK four. And so we deleted a flag up there. And the funny thing is we didn't even kick him. We didn't do anything to him. We literally just deleted the flag connecting to the past that prevented him from being able to get to where he wanted to go to zero cities. That was our way of stopping him, which is a really simple way of doing it. Didn't even have to kick him or anything. And he just got upset about that. And you know, there, there's a, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of kingdoms, even maybe that are listening here, that would, oh man, if he was doing that, I'd be okay with that. Hey, great, invite him to come join you. But if, for us, it just, you know, we, we have too much visibility to be able to get away with something like that. And it just, it wasn't what we wanted at the time. So it just didn't work out. So oh, yeah. does that make him a bad player? Not really. Not, a, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, I actually chatted with King of Armenia about it a little bit. And he was like, yeah, Talib is going to do what Talib wants to do. Right. Right. And so, you know. And and that's one of those things that, you know, almost any kingdom, when you've got a, a higher power player or, you know, a higher spender is balancing you know, the, the fact that they're spending because they want to be able to have fun and do things their way. And that's a perfectly reasonable expectation, I think, with what's in the best interest of the kingdom as well you know not just a what's in it for me but what's in it for everybody yeah i think we found it's very rare to find players that are spenders that are open to the idea of what's in the best interest of the kingdom rather than doing what's always in the best interest of their account you know right 
Uh, that is you know because so I think rare. I think there's a lot of people you know like you mentioned Juggernaut before who who understand that you know he he's not playing the game by himself you know he is doing a lot for himself but he can't win by himself he's not playing by himself he he, he enjoys the social aspect of it and so the kingdom doing well helps him do well and helps him you know enjoy the game more so like he's more of somebody that looks at it and says okay you know i i can make a small sacrifice for myself because it's going to help the kingdom which is in turn going to help me in the long run you know yeah. and, and he recognizes that not everyone does nope. um so welcome nangum yep and rj and anthony james as members or rather subscribers to the channel welcome to the smash squad i appreciate you all um yeah man I'm pretty sure Juggernaut is listening, by the way. He's kind of lurking. Oh, okay. Working and lurking, as it turns out. But hopefully yeah. he likes what I'm saying and he doesn't zero me. <laughs> Swarming your city. Yes. Incoming. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm literally on my alt right now, and so for all I know, I'm getting zeroed at this very moment because he's not like me. So, no. Se seems unlikely. Yeah. Seems unlikely. Right. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a tough idea that, like, you're going to set aside your own account objectives in favor of what's best for the kingdom. I'm like, oh, you know, we try to create as many situations as possible where there's alignment of these things for obvious reasons, right? Like, right. you know, and then you find the challenges with that when a new highly desirable commander drops like we just had. And, you know, the, the, the there's only, uh, especially for like this first KVK, I mean, there's only 10 good spots available, real, realistically. I mean, you could say top 15, but yep. top 10, really, right? And it's difficult when you have probably 30 people or 40 people who want 10 spots. And, you know, you have a choice of either a free-for-all, which I know there's certainly plenty of kingdoms that do it, and I know there's lots of players that maybe prefer that. Um, and then at the end of the day, though, you're you're... you're fighting but you know you're you're fighting i guess is the best wording it i can is. think of you're fighting with people that should really be your teammates you know and it kind of it kind of can sow some discontent between you you know uh, uh because someone thinks that they should get first and someone else snipes it out from them at the last minute or whatever and you know you kind of hope that they work together and the point is that okay if you're gonna try to kind of work together to say oh you know, like, it, like, let's say we had a free-for-all and Juggernaut and you agreed, okay, I'm going to take first, I'm going to take second. Well, okay, you guys are already agreeing. Why don't we continue to work on that through the rest of the top 10 instead of just the top two, you know? And then all of a sudden, hey, you're rigging an MG. So, so you know, it's, it, it's, it, it can be challenging for sure. Well, on the topic of disagreements, I mean, like, there's a civil war happening right now that we showed earlier. Right. You were you were here for this? Like, literally a mightiest governor dispute over and, exactly and, and the thing. A civil, a, a, a civil war on the KVK map in zone four. I yeah, mean, as the ally of Kingdom 93. So they've got to be and, like, right. what the hell? Right? Like. Well, and I bet you that that not only is 93 probably disappointed, I'm guaranteeing you Death Squad is disappointed. Because, oh, hell yeah. you know, Death Squad... And, and and his allied kingdoms, so to speak, uh, you know, they don't want an easy fight. If anything, they wanted to get as difficult of a matchup as possible because they enjoy it. I mean, so do we, but they really, really enjoy it. Like, they wanted to have as high of a matchmaking rating as possible so they could get the toughest opponents that they could get, right? Because they wanted to have a really good fight. And... Yeah, they wanted to fight the toughest opponents they could possibly right. get in the game. Yes. And then coming into this and seeing, oh, our opponents are imploding on themselves. That's not, I guarantee you, they're not happy about that either. You know, especially especially when there's no one, which there really isn't. There's nothing that you're walking away from this KVK that you don't already have. You already have a damn coin. Death but Squad, I'm confident, probably already has three or four patterns he doesn't need another one they're in this for the fight and if the you know and if someone's imploding on themselves then that you know what else is there at yeah. that point you know 
Kitty Kitty Lick Lick is saying that they're from Kingdom 93. And that, yeah, uh, what do they think about what's happening? They're, they're not happy. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's the it's the it's the good and bad thing about the way that this matchmaking works because you know, with the old map, you got who you got and you figured out who you could ally with and you know, you settled for what you could get, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you had your limited options. You had your you had whatever it is, seven other kingdoms, you picked one or two and you rolled with it and that was that. Versus now, you know, you pick your own allies, and then if it doesn't work out, you have no one to play but yourself. And and I don't mean that as a as a jab against ninety three. It, it it applied to us too, obviously. Yep. In the last game, okay, right? We got wrecked. Right. right. I mean, we thought that we made, you know, really brilliant choices, and then that was that that really backfired. And and <clears throat> so it's the good and bad part. Is you know, at least in the old the old layout, if we got matched with. You know, 96 or 93 got matched with whatever that was floating. You could say, ah, well, it's who we got matched with. And it was, you know, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> versus now, you have no one to play but yourself. And, I, and I'm, I'm not laughing at 93. It's, I'm more laughing at ourselves than anything. I in, know. In our, I know. So. Th that was the thing I both uh, liked and was frustrated about. It's like there just wasn't the. An, I, I, you just don't have the information like to get the information is a true like full-time uh, person who's dedicated to like looking well, and getting no and the point is rumors. even when you think you have all the info and, and last kvk we thought we had pretty good information but it obviously was flawed and this time i'm not going to go into detail about what we did but we went way over the top with information about our we, we literally captured information on every single kingdom, 300 kingdoms we had data on, yep. including what they did last KVK. Um, and we thought we knew what we were doing. And it was still I'm hard. I'm not going to say, well, no, I'm, I'm not going to say a kingdom number, but one of the kingdoms that was at the literally, right? Wasn't this number one on our list? Yep. Number one. Number one. Number one on our list in terms of who we wanted based on activity kingdom power etc number one of the b kingdoms that we could have picked uh turned us down actually and their activity has been on par with like k96 was last time so thank we, goodness we that they were the respectful we, to we, us we, right huh? thank goodness what? they were respectful to us and, and declined right yeah they, they yeah exactly i mean that was if, very if it respectful was to us we would have we would have grabbed them and without any question and they turned us down because they had already allied with someone else. Fine. But then now we've actually seen what they're doing this KVK. And apparently they had a huge number of people migrate out. And their activity level is a fraction of what it was last KVK. So even when you've gotten as much data as humanly possible, it can still fail you. And you could end up with a, a dead ally or an ally who... Uh, you know, implodes on themselves in, in zone four of, you know, the damn Crusader Fortress is even done being rebuilt. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's almost like you, you should almost, like, expect at least one of your allies to, like, I, I don't know. How, like, how do we get a good KVK if, like, there's just no way to guarantee the kingdoms all perform? I, that's the thing I struggle with. Is like, clearly kingdom size is not the indicator. So how the heck do you measure this? You know? Like, if you're Lilith, how the heck do you get, like, really good fights? There's no way you could have predicted that, you know, like, 93's ally was going to implode over a Mightiest Governor dispute. Right? Like, I, mean, I don't know how you increase the chances of a really killer, in a good way, matchup between kingdoms, right? Right. I mean, there's all of those little no idea. Of. I mean, because I'm pretty sure 96 um, had their first wave of migration after matchmaking, you know? So, if, if anything, it also kind of, it wasn't just a we didn't know about it when we were looking at the data. It was a thing that happened post-matchmaking to where 
you know, if anything, we got matched in a slightly higher bracket than we should have been based on what their actual, you know, kingdom power was at that point. And yet, how's Lilith supposed to know people are going to leave? You know, but that the only solution to something like that is, you know, they, they locked it to where you can't join a kingdom would be to lock it, leave a kingdom until KVK is over. But I think people would not be very happy about no, that. No, I think, but I think it would not be unreasonable to have a deserter's penalty or mark. You know, like, that's fine. You can, you can leave in a KVK. Right. I, in fact, I think it, I think they should have a deserter's mark. Well, or, or what about something where it costs you 50% more passports to leave during a KBK? Well, like, that... if your kingdom is locked KBK, where, you know, people can't come in, if you want to leave that particular kingdom that's locked for KBK explicitly, it costs you 50% more passports. That's a reasonable idea. Uh, that's actually reasonable because Lilith would be like, oh yeah, that makes us more money. Okay. You have right, my it makes attention. It more money. But that way it's a real disincentive to, you know, abandon your teammates. Yeah, you know? I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Cause like the cost to you is super real, but it's not a mark of shame. It's just a choice you're making. Like I can leave now, but it costs way as much. And what I'm trying to get at is an incentive for people to leave before matchmaking so your matchmaking isn't screwed. Right. That's the problem. Is is Which, Dude, we had that happen. I, I don't know how much you want to talk about this, but like we had some group of players leave together. They like migrated to the kingdom together and then they all freaking left together right before KVK. And I was like, you assholes. Well, no, that wasn't really a group. Are se. you sure? I thought there was a group. Are you there talking a... about the, this, this KVK? No. Mm -mm. Last KVK. Oh, well, then I don't know who you're talking about. There was a group of people. See, you didn't even know this was happening because it wasn't that big a deal, but it kind of was. There was a group of players that were like 30 to 55 million power and like 20 or 30 of them. That was a lot of them. Hmm. And they migrated in together, decided they didn't like it. And then like after migration, I think had ha lock had happened. Not migration lock. Yeah, I think after migration lock, after matchmaking, they were like, all right, bye. I don't remember that. Yeah. But that's okay. I'll take the word. Uh, maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe they left right before the matchmaking, which is exactly what I'm advocating should happen. But like, it was super frustrating because this was a group of people I remember specifically contributing to our Imperium. And then they all just left after it would have been like really helpful to have them have left, you know? Right. Because, like, ugh. Not that we had any experience with that recently either. No response. That's the best response on that one. Yep. That's all I got. That's, that's, that's the, Negan the Wise. <laughs> they don't call you Negan the Wise for nothing. I've never heard anyone call me that. <laughs> Oh, God. I like the idea of double passports, though. There's no shame. It's just... Or not even double, but even just 50% more. I mean, instead of 75, it costs you, you know, 100 or something. So that way it's, you know, there's some skin in the game. For, no, yeah, for there should be something I mean, that indicates like, you're being like, an we're asshole. Not, we're not forcing you to stay, but if you're going to leave in the middle and mess up the other players, mess up the matchmaking, mess up everything... Like, there's a penalty, you know, some kind of penalty. Yeah. yeah. You should, like, I don't want to hinder people's mobility, though. That's the problem with extra passports. It's like, it takes a long time to accumulate passports, you know? Well, right, then stay and fight. I mean, you know, then what? People are just going to stay and not fight, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. That really forces people's hand into doing anything, but. Yeah. Right, th that's exactly what they would do, is they would stay and they would not fight. But, like, I don't know. At least they're killing barbarians, and that right, adds I was about some to say, value. I was about to say the exact same thing. At least they're hopefully still killing some barbs and, you know, racking up some kingdom or alliance honor or something. I don't right. Know. Like, the, you know, kills just as many barbs as 96 did. You know, this is not nothing. Yeah. Is that mean of me? Should I not be doing that? 
No, the, I don't think it matters. Okay. The, see, the thing that bothers me is advertising in public forums that you're migrating and looking for a new kingdom as a large group. That's what bothers me about that. You mean while you're... After you've already committed to being our ally. Right. Yeah. Right, like... Don't you think I could have helped you with that after KVK? And you would have had plenty of opportunity after KVK? Right. Is what it is. And it is the reality for many kingdoms, including now 93 is dealing with this reality. Right. I mean, you know, it, it's kind of a wait and see on what sort of toll this takes on that whatever kingdom. It may is. not it's not. It's, you know, to be clear, it's not 93 that it's happening in. It's it's one of their allies. No, it's happening. Yeah, yeah, it's happening to them. Right. Right? Like, it's, it's not something they did or... Eh. Right. You know, so it's it's probably a, a TBD to be decided on... If it mattered or not. Yeah. On, right. On, on the long-term side effects, I think is the, the way to put it, of whatever this is happening over there to, you know... On, what that's going to do to that particular kingdom's activity level for the remainder of KVK, right? Actually, Negan, I have the message up in front of me. It's a system message when someone joins your kingdom. It says, new friends is the title. Oh, okay. Governor has moved here our kingdom. Let's give them a warm welcome. Is my kingdom open migration? I hope not. Oh, good. They have a cap applied in 1723. That's good. That's good. King Talib has joined your kingdom. Ah! <laughs> uh, am I saying that too much? Um, sure. Yeah, I'll stop. I'll stop. I might have misspoke and said 96 and 93 and mixed them up earlier. My apologies if I did. Awkward. Game Switch. Andrew, Alvaro, and Case Rohan Gaming. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Smash Squad. I appreciate all of you. Man. Negan, it's, it's a crazy day. It shouldn't be so crazy, and yet it is. Uh, what what else is happening that I missed? Just patches in general are crazy. Oh, yeah. We had the patch. We were completely dominating and then not dominating. You know, our light and darkness. I'm spamming my canyon matches on my restart without even looking. It's actually going really well. Pretty sure I've won every single one. I'm gonna lose this one. Oh, I won! Wow, that's kind of crazy. Have we uh, have we confirmed that whoever initiates the kingdom tax still gets it, even if they're not R five anymore? Correct. Okay. I mean, I haven't like counted the resources, but so maybe I need to. Well, no, but it, it sends you an email. It sends me the mail. But it sends the person who did the buff the mail. Yes. Right. Okay. Without looking, I just accidentally queued up like 5,000 units to heal. But that's fine. I don't do anything on my farm anyways. Um. Yeah. I, I like the idea of something that disincentivizes migration after the point where it is harmful to your you know to a kingdom heck you almost need like a countdown related to kvk where the price goes up and up as you get closer and closer actually i know that's really complicated but you see what i'm getting at right yeah that'd be interesting just so people can have time to prepare well it's not only so they have time to prepare but like if you're going to migrate away from your kingdom, you know, 20 days before KVK, it's one cost. Five days before KVK is another. Uh, 
you know, one day before it's even higher, and then in the middle it's even higher than that, you know? Yeah, I just think that's that's probably too complicated. Hard to predict, you know, what you're gonna need. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Versus like right now, I know if I was leaving, which I'm not, I know I need seventy five passport. Really, really simple. Versus Yeah, it's an interesting point. You know. Like, oh, if I leave this day, I need this many. If I need, you know, versus like, my idea was just if it's during KVK, it's some fixed percentage. I, yeah, I was thinking like 50%. Just to make it something. So it'd be an extra 37 passports or something. I don't know. It's pretty reasonable. Sounds very reasonable to me, Negan. I'm climbing with my farm in uh canyon how's how's your farm ranked by the way um i haven't looked recently it was top 1000 that's very good i mean i'm sitting at uh i i don't really care as much i'm sitting at oh somebody hit me i'm about to say I'm, i was at like fifth or sixth up main and somebody hit me yeah i'm hitting now i'm up attacking 846 as I climb now. I'm pretty well. And I'm back to fifth. <laughs> oh yeah, you're fifth overall. Hey, look at you. Look at you. That's Negan. The guy we're talking to. Right there. You're not, Negan, you're officially a real boy now. I mean, oh. for most people that, how do they like, you know, like I'd like to think when you're watching a streamer, you know, you like, you get a feeling of who they are and like, you know, I didn't really even show you digitally until just now. Again. Oh, so I could have just been like a, a bot. You're just a voice. Something. Right. Oh, I'm hitting 1152. My bad, I'm... Cortex. Crap. My bad. I just hit our allies. My bad. Oops. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, right. So on my, on my uh, main crap. farm, I'm 1007. That's what I thought. I really thought I wasn't hitting our allies. My bad. Oh, this is our allies. Oh, I gotta pay attention now. That's not our allies. That looks kind of tough. But why did they look like they got a Charles Martel with no secondary? What the heck? Ally or not, that deserves to get hit. Sorry. <laughs> well, they're not an ally in this case. Oh, okay. Good. You are correct. Oh, I'm out of attempts. All right. Oh my god. Uh, I feel bad. Do do other people in KVK share that same creed? I know we do this. No, but we we don't we don't put anything about no allies. You're choosing to do that. We have just a thing on no kingdom. Yeah, we have a thing that's no kingdom, but I personally Avoid hitting all allies. Except when I accidentally hit allies on my farm, apparently. <laughs> yeah, at least it wasn't all my man, you know? That's that's more of a thing. Megan, do you do the puzzles, by the way? I get so frustrated with the puzzles. <laughs> I, do you? I... I not e well, no, so... Now that they lowered the raised the time to get the max reward, it's not as bad, you know, because before, like when the puzzles first came out, you had to get a minute 40 to get the three stars. Yep. And they, they raised that to two minutes. Um, and so now it's not that bad. Like I, d I did the first one yesterday at 152. Okay. So I got my three stars and I was done. That's good. But I, I really do. I, I've ever since I remember even in my original kingdom when the puzzle came out people getting 40 seconds and not understanding how they're doing it and people are still doing it in 40 seconds and i still don't understand how they're doing it yeah i don't know someone like someone explained to me one time that they tap like double tap the pieces on the right hand side and somehow they automatically fell into play i don't know someone's tried to explain it to me i still don't understand how it's physically possible Yep. Like, I have never cracked a minute 30 to a minute 40. 
No way. Never have I gotten less than that. So the, the idea of someone doing it a entire minute faster than me is just mind baffling because I just <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Yeah. So I do that's the fair. bare minimum it takes for me to get the match award, and then that's it. Mm. That's fair. Which, speaking of frustrating awards, I don't think that we've gotten anything for the caravan. Is that correct? I don't remember getting anything for the caravan, Negan. You're correct. Yeah. I'm completely messing up this puzzle. Oh, crap. I really did not do this well. I put a bunch of pieces in, and now I'm just confused. Now I've confused myself. I'm getting a little back on track. I just do the edges first. That's that's what I normally do. But I did something weird. I I, I fixed it, but it's just, it was a, it was a little embarrassing for a second as I'm like fumbling around for where some of these pieces go. The worst thing about playing on a tablet is occasionally I like think I'm dragging a piece, and instead of dragging it, like scrolls. You know what I mean? Nope. Right. There we go. I don't know if we did this fast enough. Oh, two minutes exactly. Is it good enough? <laughs> Michael Cooper, thank you for the $5 super. I have 2x 100 mil accounts in separate kingdoms. What do you suggest? Putting them together or keeping them separate? Ah, it's Cowboy Lives. What's going on, dude? Uh, Negan, what do you think? I thought he was coming here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought so too. But I don't know how how that all played out with migration. Because yeah. I think he was I... ready to come here long before we were ready to migrate people in. Ah, yeah, I, I leave all that stuff up to long. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, me either. Um, the, You know, the problem is if you have a KVK or something happening in two kingdoms at once can you effectively play both of those probably not no definitely not i i can uh, be a testament to the fact that that does not work i mean if you just happen to put them into two different kingdoms that are staggered properly to where you don't have stuff happening simultaneously then maybe that's what i did um right personal and elias is king of a kingdom with his alt uh is he like really I didn't know he was still king. Oh, I, if he's not still king, he's probably still in leadership. I don't know. But he was king of the kingdom for a long time. Um, and that's with his alt. I mean, it's a hundred something mil alt. Um, and he's still active here too. But I know that he, he does maybe have challenges with dividing his time. I think he's probably more active here than he is there. Um, personally, I like having him all under i i don't think i could have other accounts in another place like it's just so much easier for me to know what's going on here like you know for all you know you're sitting here just trying to do barbs on your main <clears throat> and your alt is in that damn kingdom that's having a civil war in kv in in zone four and you don't even realize it and all of a sudden you go back over there and you're zero because you thought you were safe on a safe on alliance territory in zone four and next thing you know, you're getting zeroed because some jackwad went over on his MG and you didn't know about it because you're not on that account today. Like, you know, versus if something's happening in K75, I know what it is. It's the only kingdom that I'm even paying attention to. You know, like, that's maybe uh, an extreme example, but it's the best example I can think of. It isn't, of it isn't. Life. I mean, Abe has two accounts and he runs them in the same kingdom. Right. And, and he dual boxes stuff like Ark. He dual boxes uh, barbs. He'll he'll do his barbs together sometimes, so he can get kind of a double value on, you know, going and running barbs. I mean, like yeah. there, there's a lot of things you could do together if you if you have two devices or if you have blue stacks. I think he uses two tablets maybe or a tablet and a phone. Um, there's a lot of things that you could do with that, and I've done that too. I mean, like I I support myself um, with my alt. My my alt's not 100 mil, but. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things I do with my alt just to make things easier. Yeah. Uh, cause my, you know, my alts kind of like Chiz's alt. It's like a, it's not a, it's not a T5 by any means, but. Could be so. if you wanted, probably. Yeah, I probably have the speed ups to push research. Really, what I kind of want to do with my alt is like max all of my research 
to what a T5 could do and then just leave it T4. Yeah? Yeah. You know, hmm. I, I think that makes more sense. I just... T5 just get expensive. Like, They're so expensive. I mean, and I've bought packs on there. I mean, I've got a max because uh, I bought packs. Um, you bought you maxed you know, your mina on your farm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, most people, that's like Negan. You've gone way beyond what most people will do on their oh, farm. Oh yeah, I mean, and and like, um, but you know, I'll, I'll sometimes I'll do recharge on it and stuff like that. So I mean, like, but I I definitely don't consider I consider it very free to play and what I think most sense of the word is and uh, I just don't think I can keep up with T5 I think T4 is just the easier way to go but having the T5 tech but then T4 troops I think is actually easier if that makes sense I totally agree it makes a ton of sense so. makes a ton of sense speaking of things that make sense you know what I need to get I gotta go buy something real quick I need to get the uh, couple things we need to do. I need to get the treasure of the king. Do you ever buy that still, Negan? I only need. I keep looking at this. I need ten heads to finish my Freddy. Yeah, I'm at like five. And I, I mean, I've got like well over twelve hundred universals, and it's it really it's hard for me. Not to just press the plus 10 and be done, but I'm sitting on a ton of gold keys and I'm waiting for uh, Lucerne in another week or two, you know, to open it and, and meet all of my Lucerne challenges. Uh, and that I'm makes sense. fairly confident that on, I don't know how many gold keys I have, right? I've got 500 gold. I'm fairly confident that in 500 gold, keys, I will get 10 readies for God's sake. Um, and then I'll be done. And then there's no reason to buy that. So, base ID is not working with my new headset. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe I gotta look better at the camera. There we go. Um, yeah, I buy the treasure of the king. I'm working on Methmad. Wait, what are you talking about? You have five. Oh, you're talking about for Fred. I have five for Freddy, and I'm working on. Oh Methmad, no, yeah. that, no, no. What I'm saying is, I have everyone else done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, my met meds. So you're 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 time. basically so close it doesn't matter, and you're gonna get more than enough. Well, I have that's a waste what I'm saying. to go. There's there's zero incentive other than I don't know what the AP pots. I don't even know what I would need out of them. But my Caesar's done, my met meds done, and I'm just ten away from my Freddy. And I I'm really like every once in a while I want to just go hit the plus ten just to be done, and I have to keep smacking my hand. So no, nope, I do the same thing. Every time oh, I got a silver key out of that. Every time I uh, I look at this, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like five sculptures from Freddy, which is the case right now. You know, chat's like, do it! And I'm like, no. Five yeah. sculptures? I don't know, Negan, you think I'm gonna get five sculptures in uh, 18 keys? I don't know. I, I was thinking about just going kind of one at a time with my, because I wish there was something between open one and open 500 <laughs> would be nice. Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, you know, but. I'm, I'm realistically there's no cities to rally until we get a little because I, I really want to have met, met Fred as my city rally combo and I've really? not yeah Abe uses that he really likes it because then you can just you can send whatever troops you want to it and it works well that's interesting I mean like I get the value of that as a combo but like I don't know like I, Saladin's got to do better but then you're spending cavalry, you know? Right. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Met Med Fred, it hits hard. Uh, you can send whatever you want to it, including Siege, and it does a very good job. That's what Abe uses to wrap these with. He loves it. Nice. All right. And I've had Met Med done for a while. I've, and I just do Met Med Barca for now. Uh, but as soon as my Fred's done, I'm changing that to Met Med Fred. That so. makes sense. Well, we've been streaming for about three hours. Megan, it's been fun to have you on. I've enjoyed it. Nice. I think we're going to head out. Get a few things done today. Appreciate having everybody here. If you enjoyed the stream, consider subscribing to the channel. Throw a like on the video to support. And until next time, you have fun. Smashing the kingdom.